Joseph. Good evening, everybody. Start it off. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, from watch. everywhere down. <laughs> Like Welcome it. back to another episode of Royal <laughs> Talk Podcast. Uh, make sure you guys check us out on YouTube, Spotify, follow all of our socials, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get this party started. Today is going to be dope. We got our new homie with us. New homie. He's, he's an old homie, but... New member new, to the crew. New to, the part of, new yeah, to the team. Part of Royal Talk team. Uh, I've known him for, shit, been a few years now, yeah? And... Um, we did some work together with Royal TV. Um, I know he's just kind of now you're like kind of halfway in. I would say half a year into working out and being like consistent. Yes. So we're gonna dive into that too. Um, he's a great photographer, great uh, videographer. Does editing, does really cool shit. Um, and uh, we'll talk about his Instagram in a second because I don't remember off the top of my head. But um, anyways, let's welcome uh, Jorge. What's your last name? Sanchez. Sanchez, that's right. That's Come right. On, bro. Sanchez. Get his last I know, name I know. right. He's an old I didn't get it wrong. I just didn't get it. Hey, he's an old homie. Don't even know his last name. Yeah. Welcome, he, Jorge. He tore up Enrique's Baron. It's Baron. Yeah. He said what? Right. I said it all white. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm like, oh, man. Like one person ordering a margarita Baron. at fucking the Mexican restaurant. Como estas? Yeah. Donde estas, senor? Donde la biblioteca? No, biblioteca. <laughs> he's butchering it. Sorry, nice you speak you. Spanish? Yeah, but I butcher it also. Yeah. Uh, do you? It's that, like, Cali. Uh, Spanglish. Yeah. Bro, you look beefy. Take off your coat, bro. I can't. Come on, let's I see those arms. No, all right, I got you. No, nah, I'm wearing a long sleeve. That's uh, that's okay. I was going to wear a short sleeve. But. You wear tight shirts? They're getting tighter. They're getting tighter. Oh, yeah, man. They get tighter and tighter. Yeah, dude. Oh, you put on some some size, bro. Yeah, for sure. You were scrawny when I first started hanging out with you. Yeah. Yeah. I think the last time I saw it, wasn't he at the Royal shoot on the lake bed? Yeah. yeah, yeah, and then once another time when I was at the, the hydro. Okay. Store. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But you uh, yeah, cause remember his boy. You knew his boy, right? His cousin, right? Yeah. yeah now we're officially cousin. He's oh yeah, married. he's married too. Yeah, yeah. There we cousin go. in law. Cousin in law. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love, those fools are good peoples. Yeah. Yeah. Talks good about Adam too. Oh yeah. Huh? He they're was, good peoples. He's hyping you up. No, they're just cool, man. They've always been solid. This is Jake, by the way. All right, we introduce. We introduce. He's a uh, so rude. Handsome. So rude. Motherfucker. Thank you. No introductions. I heard the pods. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks, man. Hey, first of all, I, you know, it's my first time meeting you, but great job on the help you've been doing with this, man. We, It's amazing. You're yeah, of course. Of course. I hope we can get into uh, how, how we met also. I met Joe. It's a, it's a crazy story. Yeah. It's, and uh, thank you, though. Oh, Appreciate dude, it. Super talented, man. Super talented. Yeah, if you guys have noticed some of our post change and the editing and different work, this is Jorge doing. Right here. Right here, so. right here, dude. Yeah, he That's runs our uh, he he runs our YouTube and then um uh, all, all the posts, I guess, all, all the clips and stuff, right? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah I just want to say uh, thank you for having me on. Like, I like to be behind the scenes because yeah. uh, that's like, like that part of the the job, you know. But um, you guys are the stars, obviously. And uh, yeah, I know for most of the people that that think like, oh, we're, we're just talking, just two guys or three guys just talking. No, nah, like you guys are in the business, doing it, and uh, respect respectfully. You know, it's uh, yeah, it's good to see you Thanks, guys man. do the do the thing. Thanks, yeah, man. Thanks. Yeah. Well, so, we're happy to have you on here. If you guys want to learn something, stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> sure, yeah. So what do you think about all that hate on YouTube? <laughs> He's like, you saw that? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, why didn't you tell me? But <laughs> yeah, I don't want to tell you. I don't want to be like discouraging. <laughs> hey, so I'm talking to you. That's yeah. cool of you hey, know, not sitting, to tell me. I was, I was sitting. So it was Christmas. It was Christmas Eve. I, I was curious. I wanted to see. Oh, you dude, know, I'm going to see. what. It, dude, I saw what this man is ego. Is yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Immeasurable. <laughs> I gave it a like. Hey, I got on there and I looked, I screenshot it and sent it to my chick, and she's like, "The internet has no chill, dude, none." <laughs> and I was like, "He's like, the, I wanted to con. He's the nicest guy. Leave him alone. Uh, he's yeah. a Guido. Yeah, <laughs> leave him alone, dude. You're just mad because he has better arms." <laughs> That yeah. other dude was like, you said all that and said nothing. And yeah, I was like, like damn, bro. I was like, obviously, you're not listening. Joe, they're coming. I know. They're coming. It's only going to get worse. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Well, fucking <laughs> bring it, I motherfucker. Think last, I think last episode, me and Jake invited them all. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. I was like, entry. Yeah, come we, on, we like you guys, too. So Notice that none of the last clips were of me. <laughs> <laughs> all the ones I cut, I made sure were like mostly of you, too. Well, because we had to make sure. We had to bring that ego down, Joe. I mean, you can't just always have the camera on. I didn't, I don't you look great on the camera. You look great. Oh, my God. I don't know if you guys have checked out our, our Instagram, but that latest uh, picture of Joe doing his thing, that was your boy right here, taking that oh. picture of Joe. With his, uh, he didn't even know it was going up, so we got him good on that. <laughs> yeah. So what's new, man? 
Uh, not much. It's just uh, working a lot, you know. So this year went by pretty fast. Yeah. Um, how'd you um, how'd you do this week with the holiday and going to the gym and everything? Dude, I missed three days. Oh. oh. What, what's your routine? Are you going six days a week, seven days a week? Uh, yeah, I went to repeat. Just a basic uh, push pull leg day, you know. Uh, push day. Push, be, you said push pull leg day. Yeah. So it's like a, it's three a, a three day cycle. Yeah, three day right? cycle okay. and rinse and repeat. You know. Do you I take a day up. off and then do three, or you do three, three, then I, day off. Or? I try to do the rinse and repeat and then a day off, mm-hmm. but usually if I'm really tired and like I'm about to fall asleep when I get home, I just go like three days, just rest a day, and then go again. Do you notice a benefit from that? Like, uh, I, I see a benefit in you know, like really just taking care of uh, what you eat and like your sleeping sleeping cycle and um how you work out it's really important you know so um i'm really big on uh recovery also so um the only reason i got this big and like my physique i feel like because uh shout out alex he's my homie from like a long time ago he's a nurse so he put me in in the routine like uh the beginning of, of last year so it's been like seven eight months consistent yeah so you have a partner or you go by yourself uh i was going with him for six months straight so i would get off work work out a couple hours and he would go to work and that we we're doing that like almost every day so that's what kind of kept now it. you're by yourself by myself i have another gym partner oh, but he broke up with you or what no no no. it was just uh <laughs> the worst, of <laughs> schedules, the worst of breakups you know different yeah, I schedules feel you. I feel you, and uh man. adam cried like a baby when we stopped working out together yeah, yeah it was yeah. tough for but me. i kind of <laughs> hit it harder when I'll i'm come. alone Loki, it just you gotta change. But, it's you change the way you work out, your routine. It yeah. just cha- it changes everything. Your whole get down. Like yeah. Yeah. I agree with you. You work out harder, but you also feel like you can't push yourself as much. Yeah, yeah. you no know way. what I mean. No way. Yeah. Because I'm held great. way more accountable on like if, the, if I hit my ten or eleven, twelve reps. You know, I'm like, okay, that's good. But if like I have someone around me, they're like, dude, you could do two more. You're like, oh fuck, you know. And you can do it, but it's like yeah. those last two are the worst, yeah. and that's where it like counts too. Yeah. So yeah, well for me, I don't like nobody. I like to work out alone. Mm-hmm. That's how I am. Always been that way. I'll help my son out a little bit at times, but like people ask me, like when you rep that heavy weight, you don't have like a spotter. I'm like, for what? No, because I have the mentality is what's that? What's that mom thing where they said that mom strength where it's like they can lift yeah, the car up and save the baby, man. right? Yeah. Uh, well, I believe in the fucking dude strength, and the dude strength is this is bro science, everyone. By the way, I, if you guys are a bunch of small minded chooches and need a spot, do your thing. So. For me personally, if I have 315 over my head, I have it in my mentality is, all right, bro, you drop this shit on you, it's over. So let's get it. So that's your whole mentality? You that's my mentality. Like, hey. You don't go into like a dark hey, place. if the Lord takes me before I wake, what does he say? What is that Jay-Z line? Uh, uh, I pray my soul for him to take. Yeah. No, I don't no, know. No, what is it? I was saying the real one. I was going to say, in the jungle, you must wait. That's fucking J- uh, Jumanji, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember five or eight. Um, uh, what is it? Uh Dear Lord, don't let me die tonight. But if I die before I wake, I accept my fate. That's how I am when it comes to benching. Like, fuck it, whatever. If it falls, it falls. If he dies, he dies. You yeah. Know what yeah. I mean? If he it. dies, he dies. I just said, you know what I mean? Fuck! It's I'll fun. just ask for a spot. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I'll ask for someone yeah, like, like hey, bigger than me. I'm like, can you can you like carry this just in case? But yeah. I usually tell him like, hey, I want a little help on liftoff, and then I'm looking for this many reps after. Like, you might help me. I yeah, get hit exactly. up now a lot to spot people. I have to before I, I ask this before I did too. It. Before yeah. before He's, I did it. He's a good spot though. Yeah. Well, I'd let you know. Like, what do you want? You want you want to lift off? And if I see you fucking, I'll be real. If I see you cheating yourself, I'm like, you got two more in you. Come on, come on, get it. That's how I am. You Those are the I best spot spotters. Like, come on, come on, pushing you. Yeah. You know? That's I was you, laughing listening to the one you talked about. He said, fucking old boy. You're like, he's waiting for you to help do the work. You're yeah. like, come on, dude. Like, dude, it's hard to spot old D. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was on the last pod, he's talking about spotting somebody. He's like, dude, he's fucking difficult to spot. Like He's resisting the help. Like, I'm like, you're supposed to go up. Like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Mentally, I, I got to work out. I just sit down and catch my breath. Hey, how, do you, I, how do you feel about people taking off their shirt and working out in the I, middle of the gym? I think oh, it's gross. I hate it, dude. So you want to bring that up? Jorge? Yeah. <laughs> Jorge, go. Sorry. Jorge, all the time. Sure I do, do it all the time. <laughs> Are you? Just when I'm like really empty and I'm like really want to see the like, feeling good. Like, yeah, yeah, so you want to see because at the gym like the lightning is like fucking sick. So yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. fuck that, Jorge. Shut do up. that shit when you got a full crowd. <laughs> Do that. Hey, I'm talking about no, right when you walk. Hey, right when you walk in, Jorge, at the front, when you scan your key, boop, take your shirt I off. No, I guess I don't really care because you got old man John fucking every once in a while will pull his shirt off and walk around in his dickies and his work boots. That's hot. I mean, he's, he, you know what you get with him. That's what? What you get, right? <laughs> 
it's like it's like you know what you should say in this moment but like, yeah i don't care but then kind of when you see it, you're like what the fuck are you doing dog like yeah, for, right. like this, these two kids were doing it today <laughs> and then that's Ryan, really bothering you still no 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 because you brought Which it up is, to me when i was there last time Ooh. you're like these two fucking chooches <laughs> I was no, like, I mean, it just happened this morning. So no, I no it was way last I week. About. I know what you're talking about. It happened no. again last week. You told me at the incline, you're all these fucking chooches. And I was like, Joe, don't be so sassy. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I know what you're talking about. Uh, but anyways, yeah, these two kids had their shirt off and like... Do they, they, <clears throat> they look good? No. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, <laughs> they're decent. But I don't want to be the person to be like, okay, if you look jacked and you could pull it off, then you could be able to do it. Like, that's fucked up. I, just don't fucking do it. Wear a stringer. You know what I mean? So you look, you could see most of your shit. Or pull up your shirt if you're trying to see your abs. I get it, you know? But then once you take off your shirt and you put it around, you start, like, walking around real quick. You just start, you're pulling off like this, oh, I own the fucking gym mm-hmm. mentality. And that's what I don't like. But at the same point, like, I understand, like, you're hyped on yourself because you're like, oh, do I look good right now? <laughs> I feel good. You know what I mean? So, like, I don't want to be the one to bring you down either. You know I what I mean? But, no, yeah, of course. Mm. There is some dude I see, and I, every time he's in there, he has a shirt off working out, taking pictures, and it kind of does bother me, but only because he's so disproportioned. Like, I want to go tell him, like, hey, dude, where's your chest? Like, his back and everything looks good, but there's, like, no chest and, like, small arms to go with it, and I don't I don't understand his build, so that's where I'm like, well, he just put your shirt back so on. So I have, I, have I have two sides to that. Number one is I think it's gross if you're shirtless and you're on equipment. Yeah. That's fucking gross. That, but if you're just standing there, honestly, eh. if you're just standing there for the picture, if you're standing there flexing like in the mirror, like yeah, hitting cables that, and shit, okay. like do your thing, boo boo, yeah, you know, yeah, hit yeah. it, like yeah. do your thing. Hey, I support it. But if you're putting your nasty <laughs> ass on equipment, you're fucking gross. But then these guys also shirtless have the two cables in the middle, right? Yeah. And they walk out way further than they need to, like, uh, like they're trying stupid. to hit full extension, Joe. <laughs> Yeah. Bullshit, bro. You, there's no reason to walk out that far. That thing wow. is so wide. Like, there's no way. You haven't he's seen the guy? Right he's yeah. showing off right now. He just did it on purpose. <laughs> what? Like, yeah. like, what? <laughs> uh, one of the bodies. I think you should do shirtless tomorrow. Fuck no. He won't. He won't do it. He's the biggest. Like, <laughs> he'll have a little stringer with his nipples hanging out. But he yeah, yeah. Shirtless. He's like, ew, uh, show my uh, tummy. Uh, Negative. Yeah, 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 no. I got, I got baby fat still. So. <laughs> oh, don't be a fucking girl, dude. I'll tell you what. You do it, I'll do it. Fuck it. Really? Damn. If you do it, I'll do it. If you do it, I'll do it. I have no fucking shame in this ape's fucking uh, mind. I'll fucking watch I don't even it. want to ask Adam because obviously he'll fuck it. Yeah. He already I'm like, great. we get it, Adam. You have abs and a big dick. Yeah. We get yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Are you a grower or are you Adam? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a, a grower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, 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 welcome we're, to the, uh, we're the growers crew. Yeah. Give me a cheers. Give me a cheers to that one, George. Come on. Get in there. To us growers. So on that tripod shirt, you yeah. should be able to like incorporate that yeah, somehow where like two of the legs are like short. And like one's long on angle, yeah. or the one is uh, we'll put on the yeah, yeah, should be yeah. like the little Kodi- the, the Kodak Polaroid camera, and yeah. then you're fucking. Hot. You ever heard that joke? How do you fit three gay guys on a stool? I don't know. You turn it upside down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have heard. That. I have heard that. Too, you so. never heard that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, Joe's on one today, dude. Yeah. Bro. You're, you're sassy, bro. Today. I rewatched that clip of you coughing at least a hundred times. He, he tried to say, "I got a cramp. So I got a cramp." I take like, it. No, a cramp. You I got one under my dagger. fucking left boob, bro. I didn't hear the cramp part. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Dude, I get one. Like, I, I got a cramp, but dick. like, oh, dude, God, I don't know. It's because I'm like fucking tight all the time or what. But I mean, if I fucking fuck wrong, get up wrong or something, anything, right here, left side cramps up. That's why he doesn't eat. Yeah. Sounds like a hernia. Do you think so? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Fucking freak me out. I always grab my ball. Is that you grab your ball? So, hey, I got a question for you because this is. Yeah, they're good, homie. We have have a philosophy. Well, somebody has a philosophy here, but say you go out with a chick. Like, and you're trying to get some booty at the end of the night, right? Trying to get it. Are you you eating up at dinner or are you going light? Like, are you fucking on a full stomach or empty? I don't even eat. Shoot. My boy. Here's tequila. Here's well, tequila shots. <laughs> George, George, welcome to the team, Joe. George. You nacho said tequila shots. Yeah, nacho, yeah. nacho and salsa. They get lucky, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. He's like, bitch, you're about to get broke off. He's all fucking, um, what's it called? He's, uh, he has a lot of fucking stamina because he's cutting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. What are you doing? You bulking or for cutting? I did a mini cut like a month ago. and then How much, I, What's your weight right now? Official weight, like when I wake up, 174. How tall are you? 5'7 and a half. 5'7, 174. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, so you probably got like a good 15, 20 pounds of cut or something like that. Yeah, I want to gain more like another five pounds. Uh, so do you clean eat or you dirty bulk? Huh? You Both. Yeah, okay. yeah. I don't, I don't <laughs> like start fucking walking. I eat out a lot, like I eat wobble and shit, but 
You get extra protein. Yes. Extra protein. Right? You get avocado or no avocado? No avocado. Yeah. Fuck that. I get avocado. I got to get avocados. You like it? Awesome, bro. I, when I go to Walmart. But honestly, you know what's a good uh, cheat little Panda Express? The fucking three entree plate and get yourself a whole serving of all white rice and they get the fucking four triple chicken. The grilled? Easy. It's like 12 bucks. I get that every day. Makes me all that salt and whatever just makes me so like it, it makes my hands tight. I can't eat it. Joe, you Bottom are such stomach. a prissy fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear him? The salt makes my hands but tight. But he'll he'll go to Taco Bell and grill. Yeah, you will eat a fucking dur- know, what is yeah. Doritos Locos Taco dude? Yeah, with sour cream and all the bullshit in it. Yeah. No, it does the same thing. I just know that's gonna happen. Just fucking say, all right, fuck it. I get that one. He just night, picks his point. Right? It's like a vegetarian. Like they don't want to eat all the bullshit, but they'll drink. Right. It's like a person who's by. Right. They like want a little bit of both, right? Yeah, fuck it. Right. You're going to suck a dick and you're going to eat some puss, right? (laughs) (laughs) Hopefully not at the same time. Yeah. Well, hey, you pay double for that type of action. (laughs) So uh, you guys remember Rhonda Patrick? Yeah, Dr. Rhonda Patrick. (laughs) Uh, I saw her. She has a podcast. Okay. She was talking about how really, like in the latest studies, that we should be having 1.6 grams of protein per body fat and not 0.9 like previously said. They said at 1.6 is actually maintenance. Really? Yeah, so you're talking about 300. So I weigh 200 pounds, right? So I need at least 300 grams of protein. So, so maintenance so I need just about 400 grams of protein? Yeah, That's yeah well, they say like to get like the best energy. And I, I would see that more possible if you were eating only meat, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's hard to do when you, you mix you, in with the You know what's of terrible shit. about that? And like this day and age is all our food is like nutrient deficient. So you got to eat so much more of it. To, like, really? Make, you, like, even the, like grass fed or organic? Just like, a, a lot of our shit is defic- nutrient deficient because it's well, I GMO, think I, like genetically modified. So yeah. you got to give up something <clears throat> somewhere. So they've modified right. a lot of our foods that grow. So it just takes away from some certain areas. I is, think, your, is your diet like mostly meat and rice? Yeah, mostly meat and rice. That's the way to go. I just started eating the rice because... Uh, I don't really like rice, but I heard the white rice like it, um, like the water weight, like it, it really like suppresses it, so you look tighter, right? Really? Yeah, yeah. One hundred percent. Like, and wheat rice is shit, by the yeah, way. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah. For like the longest time, it was like brown rice, brown rice, right. brown rice, right. and that's the worst rice to for you. Yeah, white yeah. no, white rice all the way. Potatoes, white potatoes is too starchy for me, but I'll, I'll eat them. Yeah, yeah. The, Why? Uh, potatoes. So the, really? the best carbs are white rice, potatoes, potatoes yams. Yeah. Um, things that aren't like starchy carbs, like breads and wheat. Yeah. You need to stay away from wheat. If you can stay away from wheat, dude, it can solve a lot of your problems. You know, like a lot of these people say, oh, only meat. Well, if you could also just have like those main carbs with it too, like you'll feel a hundred times better. Yeah. And like just those, the way your body processes them and whatnot. I don't know the scientific bullshit behind it, but um, for sure. I am, it's like, uh, I like to like get out of my own way and just like have people teach me how to do it yeah. first. And then you just do it yourself. Well, that's all it is in the beginning, you know? Yeah. Dude, I remember being, uh, you're how old are you? 20, uh, about to be 27 and 18. Right. Youngster! When I was 21, but obviously it wasn't as big as it is now, bodybuilding. Well, not that it wasn't as big, but it wasn't as accessible online, right? Yeah. Remember Robert Frank? I don't. <laughs> no? Oh, okay. He was like OG um, like um, bodybuilder. Uh, um, what do you call it? Social media? Really? Um, it wasn't Rich Prana? I, I, well, amongst those guys. you know. So that generation? Frank. Right, right. Okay. And he was making the funny videos in the beginning. And anyways, he... Um, um anyways that, those are the kind of people like i'd have to read like books like online books like people were uh, vlogs and shit with that's what i would have to do <laughs> there wasn't so many videos but now dude i mean fuck the knowledge is it's also hard though because so many people are saying so many different things they're like no no you should work out this way no no you should work out no you're never gonna hit this because well, you wait. i think you know, it goes back to like so much different styles work for so many different people like everybody could nah. everybody has their own roadmap for working out that works for their style i agree yeah one thing i learned is that like if you put it like in a graph like in a y-axis graph like the trend of uh you know back in the day those those bodybuilders were huge right and now like people like the skinny the skinny uh type the more and now it's like more fit. in between yeah. it's more fit so it's more like crossfit yeah. like the whole it's like a it's a look it's not so bulky but it's like a whole body fit yeah. so like sebo like she's like Cibo. that fit right yeah, you think so He's like in between. Yeah, like he's, the in, hybrid. he's like in between. Yeah, yeah. But like that's what. Look at he's winning. He's the man. He's I guess on the he face could of say everything. that, right? Whoever's winning Mr. Olympia is what's yeah. in right now. Yeah, yeah. so you know it'd be I mean? him. Right. So it'd be him. So before it was what? Ronnie Coleman. Yeah, two. Those who guys was, were who, huge. Who was, his, who was his rival? Well, no, I, uh, well they have Ronnie different Coleman's classes rival? of mm-hmm. Mr. Olympia. They're right, in a so. different. He, that Brazilian, <laughs> the Brazilian dude's been his competition a lot with the biggest forearms. That guy with the biggest forearms has been his biggest competition like the last couple years. Let me ask you a question. If you had your choice, would you? This is. It's easy for me, but if you had your choice of like physique wise, would you go for that bodybuilder look like the so it would be C bum 
be the top dog? Or would you go for like that like that world strongest man look, that fucking big ass bulkiness? Yeah. I forgot who's the world strongest man. I forgot his name. Uh, he Ryan just, will know the mountain or something. <laughs> no, no, he, mountain, he was a couple years ago, right? Oh, right? Yeah, <laughs> like if, if you had to choose, would you go with the bodybuilder look or what? Yeah, like I like the Tom Lance look. Okay, that yeah. one's like a what, six look, pack, yeah. lean, big legs. Yeah. Oh yeah. fuck yeah. Yeah. yeah, fuck yeah. Do you like doing you? legs? Now I do, yeah. It's like yeah. the best day for me. You know? Oh, really? It's like growing out my beard, too. Like the testosterone. I heard, like, if you, like, do squatting and stuff, yeah, it, does like, help. it releases a lot of... Yeah, it does. Natural. It, it does. does help. It does. Or you just plug. Yeah. I think it's just working out. Yeah, you're about to, you're about at the age where you're going to want to start fucking... No way. He's got about good Yeah, I know. He years. texted me asking me about it. <laughs> no, but I, I told him to wait, too. Yeah. Uh, I was asking about peptides. Those yeah. will help. <laughs> peptides will definitely help. It's yeah. Just a lot of daily maintenance. Yeah. What if... Uh, <laughs> So we all know the different types of steroids, right? You have injectables, which are like oil-based. Mm-hmm. And then you have your peptides, which is a water-based. And, but you have to inject peptides more often because it's water-soluble and it goes away fast. So it's usually like a daily or bi-daily kind of thing. So how long is it – when it leaves you, how long? It's 24 hours. But for the peptides? Yeah, yeah. So depending on the peptide me? you take, yeah. That's why like a lot of athletes use – so supposedly there's like water-based steroids. Yeah, that's well, what, that's, that's basically what, what peptide is. Yeah, 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 so like I guess that's what all the athletes use. So that when they know they got testing, they yeah, flush, it, it doesn't out of your system up. like they that. Flush yeah. it out. Unbelievable. But like if, it's but you like, have to inject all the time. Yeah, it's that's not why, like yeah, injectables. Or oil it's a lot of. That's why I say it's a lot of daily maintenance. Yeah. That's what so I mean. man, like, man, imagine how imagine you're going through. You're, you're going through. Yeah, it's in your tummy, and you're going through like two or three needles. It's so easy though. You don't even feel it. Yeah. Like, dude, you you never feel the needle. Have you done anything with peptides before? Yeah, I do. I take HGC right now. Okay. So what happens is when you take testosterone, your free test will drop, right? Which is like your naturally occurring testosterone that makes your testosterone levels. Yeah. Um, but when you start taking testosterone, it'll start going down. So HCG. So when that happens is that's why when you take steroids, your balls get small because it doesn't need to produce anymore because <clears throat> you're taking testosterone. So HCG recharges your balls and makes sure that they're I wish my fucking felt like they went down because they don't fucking How does that like work it. with the uh, muscle maturity? Like does it? For HGC? Yeah. Yeah. Does it get you like? I don't think it no. has anything to do. It's with just that for your reproductive right? system. Yeah. They give it to people. Oh, okay. um, they give it to guys right before they're trying to conceive if they're having trouble like. Got gotcha, gotcha. Isn't that what Chael Sonnen got popped for? I think they give it to women too. Actually, yeah. it's a it's a it's a PED like yeah. style, but Chael it's Sonnen like a, a water base. Because so. that's what he was saying. And then they also have SARMs, right, and pills, so which are worse animals. on your body, on your organs. They're harder, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, what is it? I mean, no, I saw this dude today. He's like, if you're taking Tren, good luck. He's like, you're going to be dead within a year. And I was like, Jesus, bro. <laughs> you're like, you're all the, lying. Yeah. All the, I got a little worried. I was like, holy fuck. Is he right? And then I, like, I looked and I obviously like people were like, bro, I've been on this shit for 10 years. Like, obviously, if you do it correctly, you post cycle correctly. You know what I mean? You should be. There's a way okay. to do it. There's a way to do everything now. And plus, we're, do you ever look at these big guys, their steroid cycles? They're like 6,000 milligrams. A day. A day. A day. And we're doing what? Fucking like 400 a milligrams Once a, week? a week? You know what I mean? Like, fuck out of here. Like. Well, that's what I was like. I got, so I said, like, when you see, like, some of these bodybuilders, bro, I heard, like, like Rich Pren, I heard he plugged, like, like, every fucking, literally every day. It's like, I don't know how you can do that to your body. Like, eesh, it's too much, man. Once mm. a week's good for me. Yeah. You know? It's just the level you want to be committed to. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? The fact that those guys get that fast blown up, and you're like, "Fuck, dude, that's a lot on the body." Dude, do you get, imagine the feeling though of like your joints, everything growing yeah. like that. It's you know be... how when you have like extra fat, like weighs down your body, and then once you lose it, you're like, "Oh wow, like, I kind of feel f- freer, right?" Imagine all that muscle on you, <laughs> and it weighs heavier, right? Speaking so of like... all muscle, so uh, I hope you guys had a good Christmas. I hope you guys all had a good Christmas. Uh, so me and all my my nephews, my brothers, we all went on. Um, was it Christmas Eve? I don't know if it was Christmas Eve or the night before Christmas. I don't remember. But anyways, we all went to go movie, see that movie, uh, The Claw, uh, with Zac Efron. Your boy is on everything in that movie, dude. His body is flawless. What is he? What is yeah. that one about? So it's about the Von Erichs. The Von Erichs with the family, WWF, okay, uh, the yeah, NWA, yeah. the wrestlers. Their dad had The Claw. Put your fuck in your fucking head and squeeze the shit. Well, anyways, his sons, first of all, they said like their family's cursed, but all of a sudden, like committed suicide. And this this family in this real fam- life, the Von Erics, every single one of their kids committed suicide except one. That's the one Zac Efron plays. So Zac Efron put on beef because it was in the time of the '80s, the greatest era of wrestling. Um, so that, that's when everybody in the '80s was on fucking Mexican supplements. Okay. I mean, from Hogan to fucking Flair to fucking, of course, the fucking Macho Man was on it. Like everyone. So dude, Efron had to put on size. 
Dude, he is fucking massive in that movie. He's really? not tall. Well, he looked good in Baywatch. Yeah, dude, hell yeah. no. Baywatch. Look up, have you seen him? Watch. I'm gonna bring it up right now. Dude, <laughs> he is on. He like it all, like the movie starts off. He's in his fucking chones. Yeah. He's in tidy whities bro. And you see his gut, but he has a gut with abs. And you see his veins and his fucking pecs and his fucking quads. You're just like, fucking high school musical, bro. He's on everything Damn. right now. Like, I was yeah. like, your boy's on trend right off the bat. Like that blew. Trend, like it was pretty wild, but uh, oh, he's on a dirty bulk. He's oh, on master on D ball. What do you Deca. think? You want to put on side? They say we get on Deca. Well, they say Deca is a safer of them though. Like when I first started working out, my uncle he was like suggesting me uh, a steroid. He's like, start with Deca. He's like, that's like the nice introduction to like steroids. But uh, I was young and stupid. And went to the gym sometimes. Didn't that back then? Yeah, and, motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, he's massive. Like, Bro, that's Zach fucking Efron, dude. Oh, I seen oh, wow. that picture. Yeah, he's pretty thick right there. Dude, wow. Adam. Those are like thick abs. Adam. <laughs> I like that uh, turtle show a, look. That's a carb belly. Oh, boy, it, you know, it's I the... I if he like flexed it and go straight down. No, I, that, that look is nice. Yeah. That means you're like nice and full. Look at, you're is, strong. Look at, is that every guy's goal for the... Like, nice fuck, core. bro. Yeah. Look at that shit. Yeah. Dude, he's massive in that movie. Like, granted, you know, he's playing one of the he's uh, the Von Erics. They were all fucking huge. But um I gotta like I gotta know him in wrestling, but dude. So Zach Efron, you think was into wrestling? Was into wrestling like that? Yeah. Because he probably wanted to play that role. I well, think. I don't know. Dude, it's a pretty badass movie, but like uh when you see him, you're like, oh, oh my god, what is that motherfucker on? Damn. Like imagine having the funds, yeah, the training from the studio, the food, the the food. The science, and they're like, just work out. Well, that's like where they talk about how much money like The just Rock spends out. on gear. Imagine. Have you ever seen um, uh, Chris Pratt when he does the Jurassic Park movies? You ever yeah. see his? He gets, his... he gets jacked. Yeah, but he he's he he shows all of his meals that he has to eat, and he's crying, bro. He's like, I have to eat fucking green beans and chicken again. Fucking great! Like he's just sick of it, <laughs> and like he's like, it's perfectly every meal has the time. Two forty five p.m. You know what I mean? Like it's down to like the science, but they set it all up for him. But he looks great, but he's also like he right. has to work out twice a day. He doesn't have energy because he can't eat that much. What a pussy! You know what I mean? Remember, he used to be a big boy though. Yeah, yeah. The show. No, yeah. for sure. Yeah, for sure. What a pussy though. You're bitching about you have everything at your fingertips. Man the fuck up, my boy. You do like, you do you uh, on, meal prep, George, or you just eat whatever or what do you do? Yeah, like the food expen- is expensive. I don't I don't meal prep at all. No? No, no. My oh, boy. I, I do like just keep it simple on where you go and yeah. what you get. So, yeah. Like Wabba grill. Wabba grill, basically, yeah. yeah. It's like you know what's really work. good is uh, Aloha. Aloha. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 Hawaiian? Hawaiian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh bro. Oh, they give you so much chicken, dude, and rice, bro. It's amazing. So what do you get? I just get that standard chicken rice and one scoop of macaroni salad. So you get the chicken katsu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, that's a breaded, breaded one. You though. get the breaded. I don't give a fuck. No, Dance I don't give a fuck. Eat that fucking chicken katsu. You'll work, you'll work it off. You'll work it off. Yeah. The breaded one's good. That chicken katsu. Oof. Fuck, dude. I had that. I had that this past Even week. Even the uh, the the macaroni salad is really good. Well, that's like, that's the problem with eating out. Is like, well, maybe not for you, but like getting all your protein. Because like a standard bur- cheeseburger, right? Like has like twenty grams of protein only, but. Then double, you get forty. But you need to be about fifty per meal, right? Well, if you're eating six meals a day, well, so that's three hundred milligrams. If I'm eating a four by four, I got three of them down. Are couch. you taking a weight gainer? Or are you taking a protein or what? Shake? Oh yeah, I'll take a, like the Fair Life protein, okay. the, the one from the gas station. <laughs> this man is on the go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's hard for me. He too. does not. He does not prep nothing. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, I ain't got time for this shit. I hit the gym. Oh, that's so expensive. I know, bro. I'm always on the road. That's why, dude. That's pretty <laughs> wild, man. You that's can buy. Wild. You can buy cases. Yeah. Of those proteins that they sell in the stores, Costco. basically. Get yeah, like I just got one from Costco. Costco. Yeah, okay. yeah. They have like them that. at the vitamin shop, too. Those ones are good. But how many grams of protein are one of them? Like 30. Yeah. 40. Yeah. Another one's like 45. Four, well, 45? Yeah, that's that okay. one's like, yeah. You gotta be at like the 50. If I, right. Usually, if I don't have a scoop of whey, if I'm, if I'm doing, usually I don't do whey. Not all the time. I'm not gonna lie. Not all the time. I'd rather eat my protein. Eating is way uh, better than protein shakes, So sure. So, like, say I forget, some, I forget my lunch. So I'll go to the gym. After I get done working out, I'll get like little protein shakes right there. Mm-hmm. Each one's, I think there's uh, the MREs. They're like Those 40. Are beefy, yeah. Bro, I get four of them. And Damn. I pound them at, on, the way to the, on the way to work. All, All four? four? All four. Jesus. I'll do one on the way there. Goop, 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 goop. Ah, there's one. And I'm fucking driving, listening to some hustles, going to work. Hit the pen. Fucking driving. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's two. Fuck, and I got two more. And I walk in. I walk yeah. into work. Talk to my guys. Say what's up to everybody. Do, 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 do. There's three. And then as I'm walking to the back to the shipping, I'm just, do, do, do. Oh, there's four. And I'm done. And I got my post. 
Yeah, yeah it's hard to get like 100 grams of protein in the morning, dude. Like, oh, it's bro, impossible. Oh, there, I seen a post like a guy said you need to eat like 50 or 100 grams right away the first thing in the morning. I'm like, yeah, so um, Rhonda Patrick also said there was two other things I was going to bring up. Was, um, you should have about 60% of your daily protein like before noon. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, like protein intake um, in the morning uh, because you're gluco glu <sighs> Um, you got it baby you got it come on and like uh Forever. it's a little higher during the day and so you're able to uptake that protein better but as you get in through the night it, your trigly- triglycerides yeah they start to lower mm-hmm. and so um that's why like at night you shouldn't have a shitty meal especially if you're trying to like get cut whatever because it'll stick to you more versus like if you ate it in the morning but yeah that's why you should eat all your protein like like early on she also said that uh um, doesn't that go against fasting I like to fast. I'm a fast guy. You fast? Some or? guys. It just uh, depends. Really no. you know I, mean? I love to fast. I've never done one. Like, well, what kind of fasting are you doing? Like, no, I, he's I saying. He's saying. I know, but what he, kind? He doesn't eat. He eats after eat. he works out. Yeah. Like, so he'll eat the night before and then not all the way go through all his morning workout. Right. Yeah. And then he'll and, eat. Cause I'm, but go, because I'm, I'm on the go too, man. I'm on the go all the time. So intermittent fasting for me is perfect. And plus, I feel like I get a better workout. Like, I don't like carb loading like that. I'm not really into that. So, like, right now, this will be. I'm on, so the other day I did a 22 hour fast the day before, like an 18 hour right now I'm on 17 and I feel fine. Hey Jake. Yeah. Where'd you get that jacket from? Old Navy. Bro, I have the same jacket. Really? Yeah. It was a Christmas gift. Thank Dude, you very it, much. I love that jacket. It's my favorite one. I've, I, it's been dirty for fucking months, but <laughs> I need yeah. to wash it. it was, but I love that jacket. It looks, just, you know, I think it's it looks nice. good on me, dude. Yeah. It's really nice. I was shocked. I was like, she's, she's like, do you like it? I'm like, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, if you guys want any. Oh yeah. I was trying to grab her. It's like a little sliver. No. Um, she also, so Rhonda Patrick also said that if you don't start working out and like until you're after 50, it's almost impossible to gain any size. Like you can gain strength and really? you know it's healthy for you, but you to put on size is like almost impossible unless you take steroids. You know? how, long, how long have you been working out? It's about to be like uh, eight months. Eight months. Okay. Okay. We're in, okay. What made you want to work out? Uh, I've always wanted like the, 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 the look, the physique, but, uh, like I said, I, I didn't know how to get there. I would go to the gym and just do arms and stuff, and I would be like, yeah, this is enough. Yeah. Well, so my arms would grow, but, like, nothing he- up here would grow. Okay. Well, I couldn't get, like, that that Dorito look. Yeah. Like they yeah, say, you know? the Dorito look. So. That's a new way. I haven't heard that one. I haven't heard yeah. it either. Yeah. The, sli- the spicy Dorito? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Spicy Dorito? Spicy. What's salsa verde or what? what exactly. Do you a little, some tapatio or something. Yeah. yeah. I like the cheese ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, and then um, I just started going with my buddy, and I couldn't stop. Yeah, like, addicting, huh? Yeah, yeah. Once you see like little muscles and that's it, it's like game on, yeah. Yeah. So if you could do that like consistently, why can't you run a business consistently? And yeah. Make your right numbers, on. you know? Yeah, like especially you get that, like, your shirts fit different. Yeah. You can see in the mirror, like, oh shit. Like, plus I heard like there's more millionaires than people with six packs. <laughs> Have you heard that before? <laughs> no, I haven't. Yeah. So it like kind of motivated me too. I was like, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to undo it, you know? So, so, uh, vi- a videographer? Yeah, yeah. Right now, well, um, I'm basically like a one man ad agency. Okay. So like I run like ads for businesses and I help people get customers, you know, depending mm-hmm. on what kind of business. Like I said, like the way I met Joe was through uh like back in the pandemic, there was a app called Clubhouse. Yeah. And uh I met his homie Russell there. Russell's like the coolest you know, like guy I've ever met, you know. Yeah. His, he has a beautiful family and everything and he's coming out next week. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh shit. Speaking of Russell, but um he's the one that kind of put me on to these guys yeah so um ever since yeah then, it was so. um we were uh we needed a we were doing a royal tv shoot and then i was like dude we, we can't oh we were gonna use the lake bed and we're like dude it just rained and we're like there's no way we could use it and so um brazil was like hey dude i've been talking to this dude jorge like he says he could probably have a spot for us and so we called you up and you're like yeah dude we got this land right here you guys could use and then and then whatever the rest is history we ended up using yeah. the lake bed anyway yeah it was like too dirty out there too yeah so, yeah. so like uh what's your favorite type of thing to shoot uh i was shooting music videos all of uh, this year last year and then now it's more like uh i have a few partnerships going on like with this podcast and another podcast um in la and uh yeah, and also we're also running a, a independent music label. Okay, you know, so we're up to like more than twenty k streams right now. What kind, what's your what kind of music? Uh, just a Latino pop, you know, all that okay. stuff. Ooh, okay, nice. and so that's in, in right now. Yeah, yeah. So we're trying to penetrate that market right now. So right on, man. Um, it's it's pretty crazy. Like this year went by fast, but next year we're gonna go faster. You know. Yeah, yeah I will. So yeah. a lot of we got a lot of support and uh, shout out Dapo, shout out uh, Memo Millon. 
uh, those guys are pretty pretty solid guys. Those yeah. are whose artists? Is yeah, or? yeah. We're okay. that's that's artists we're kind of managing under that label. Okay. Yeah. What's the name of the label? Uh, High Tide Records. So High do tide? they play? High Tide. Yeah, yeah. Well, Dapo does. Um, let's get let's get uh, Dapo on, folks. Yeah, he, should, he's a, he has a crazy ass story too. He's from Miami. Okay. Um, so he has he's from that East Coast vibe, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He talks his shit, you know. So are the headphones bothering you? Uh, no, they're like out of battery. I think they're like charging. They want, uh, like, really? They died. Yeah. Oh, so sorry. it's not good. It's not dick. Good. <laughs> I'm a dick. I said we needed another pair of headphones for the studio, and you guys are like, no, people could just bring their own. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Here we yeah, go. Good, back good, to Jorge. Good, good, back to Jorge. Are you yeah. done being sassy? <laughs> I like to hear myself talk. So it's like, oh my boy. Yeah. Hey, hey, we're, we uh, we're talking to you. So hey, so uh, uh, as far as doing the the music thing. That's something new to you, as far as that 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 is that's brand new genre you're you're breaking into, huh? Yeah, yeah, that's uh like what we're trying to you know accomplish right now. What's but, more, what's their vibe? Um, what do you mean? Like, 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 like if 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 me and my uh, Blanco friend right here are in are in Black Betty outside, and we just happen to hear your boy come on the radio, we're gonna be like, damn. Adam's gonna be like, "Don't do your stuff," yeah. you know. What, they sound the, like uh, they sound like. What type of vibe are they rolling? Yeah, with? like who are they who are they sounding like? like to their us? own. Or uh, they got a little sound. Like are pop? they unique? They're, they're like really unique. Uh, I feel like I've seen a lot of talent, and there's a lot of talent out there, like especially in California. Don't get me wrong. The IE puts on a lot of good uh, artists. Uh, LA does too. Yeah. Um, depending what genre, you know. Yeah. Um, but for them, for us, uh, it's like mostly like, uh, pop culture, like. Like storytelling, like um, a lot of storytelling, a lot of like vibey, like club music okay. in Spanish. It's like a little bit of get thrown, a little bit of pop, you know? Okay. So uh, you'll like it for sure. We had a lot of people listening to like uh, that don't speak Spanish or anything. Mm -hmm. And they're like, I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I like it, you know? Hey, but I mean, honestly, <laughs> like I said, my shit's broken AF. But I love me. I love smoking a J, bro. Listening to some Peso Pluma. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just the yeah. vibe of his yeah. music. Like, you listen to him? I, was, I like Peso. I fucking love like, this yeah. juice, dude. He's like, <laughs> look, he looks like he listens to fucking like like Beach Boys and just fucking skates all day. But no, Adam man. got good fucking taste. No, Adam is cultured, bro. No, bro, worry, bro. Like, real talk. I was, like we were just saying earlier, huh? Our playlists are pretty the same. Yeah, it's yeah. Pretty me wild. and Jake get down. But I no, I love like at work i'll put it on i'll put bad bunny mix like and i have a good mix going on there dude and, like, fools yeah. will be like looking at me i'm like yeah i like this shit and i'll yeah, notice i know like, the song you, you vibe with it so yeah. you like that type you're like like our music you know yeah, like my, bro my, uh peso pluma was it uh was it nueve vida i think that's what oh bro if i'm fucking loaded and that shit comes on i'm singing my heart out with them i don't know yeah, what the fuck yeah. i'm saying but i'm singing it with them that's yeah. pretty sick no my, so. ch my chick put me on game with them like the latin music and i just kind of like i like Faruco, i like um jay balvin like i like oh, all yeah? the pulls yeah i like dude a lot of them. that's crazy <laughs> is that wild yeah. like like it's what i'm saying <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Talk yeah. i get down with it and even at the gym one day i'm like hey enrique He's like, what's up? And he he's like, he knows Spanish music and shit. I'm like, can you put Booker T on for me? He's like, what are you talking about? And by Bad Bunny, like have you heard that song? Yeah, no, I haven't. Have oh, really, dude? No. That's my favorite, my favorite song he has. And um, and uh, he's like, no, I'm like, put it on. And, and I, it's like a kind of a gangsta, like it's tight. It's more of like a rap hip hop, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you and, get the vibe, you know? Like and Booker like, T's like in the in the video, just standing there all blacked out. It's tight. Oh, yeah. And um, uh, the five time WCW heavyweight yeah, champion. Of the and uh, he played it on the, at the gym. And he's like, "This is tight." And I'm like, "I don't like. How do you not know this song?" Well, I like but that one, Champion. I hear that one. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't yeah. the fuck. Bye bye. So I don't know if you guys know the one. That newest one was shot on the lake bed right here, where he's in the Mercedes car. There's a party. No, I haven't seen it. Oh, yeah. I, think, I told my homie, I was like, is, was that there? Like, yeah, because my chick, they were there for like a week. And then it came out that he was right there and my chick was pissed. Because she's like, I could have went right there and been in the, I could have been the girl in the wings. Wow. Like, sure. <laughs> wow. She's always yeah. just dropping it. Yeah. She like, <laughs> but he shot right there. I forget, that's a popular song. I can't remember what it's called. But yeah, when he's up on top of the rocks, like it's all right there in the lake bed. Have you done? Have you done? Have you guys done a lot of live shows? Uh, live shows, nah. We no? we want to for this new uh, upcoming uh, singles we're gonna drop. Okay. Um, we want to do like come out? uh probably in a, in a few months. Yeah, yeah. We want to end the, the year strong. So. Hey, I seen you did. A, um, was that like a collab with the the Ricky Anthony dude at the gym? Yeah, Ricky Anthony. Yeah, yeah. I seen you like did a little thing with him. That was pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, that yeah. fool's fucking jacked and shredded. Dude, yeah, dude, he's shredded. Yeah, he's he's built. Yeah. yeah, he just yeah. went. Uh, he just did a competition. How did he do? Like last week, I think he came out third. Okay. Yeah. Did, you, did you go with him or no? No, no, I didn't. I didn't shoot that. I was shot his little workout. Fucker is shredded. Yeah, he he's like a newer trainer there he's at the gym, Mexican? but he's pretty steady. Yeah, like, he's Mexican. Look, bro, like, that's what I'm saying. Do you remember? Like, I don't know. We, I'm sure we, we probably grew up same time. 
like Mexicans back in the day were shredded like that motherfucker, bro. That motherfucker's a new age Mexicano. You know what I mean? Yeah, he no, he, shredded. He's, you could tell that fool's dedicated. Yeah, yeah, everywhere, huh? Diet, every level checks all the boxes. You could tell. So what? How'd you how'd you link up with him, right? What brought that together? Uh, I think one time I saw him at the gym. I was like, I was like, you're a personal trainer here. I was like, yeah. He was like, yeah. And I was like, oh shit, that's that's pretty cool. We should get a workout. Um, because a lot of people ask me like, oh, how. How'd you get this look and like this and that? So I like to ask people that have that look too, yeah. you know, like I'm always like listening and, and learning and stuff. You, you, think you, want, you want that look like him? Uh, no, nah, not that. <laughs> nah, he's, he's committed, bro. He's yeah. committed. So, and uh, he wants to take it all the way. So like as a Hispanic, I got to support it, you know? For yeah. sure. So you just like got together and videoed him and took pictures and all that, like while he's working out? Yeah. yeah I told him I was like, because I like uh, documenting some stories, you know? Yeah. Um, one of the reasons I got into like all this, uh, all this stuff that I'm, I'm in my business um, is because I wanted to do Nike ads, you know, like Nike, Nike advertisements. But uh, someone told me like uh, those those employers are like under smoking guns, you know, like if they don't like your work, they're going to fire you. And uh, he's also told me that every building, whether it be Nike, whether it be like a dispensary, you know, wherever you want to you want to uh, be in whatever industry, there's always a back door. There's a, there's a front door, yeah, where people go, come in and they pay, and, you know, and there's a back door. So, if you can enter the pa- the back door and, and show people what, what you could do, like they'll they'll like support it, you know. Yeah. And so that's how I took that's how I take everything, you know. Like I try to build relationships. I feel like a lot of people in the cannabis industry, like they could spot out bullshit, you know. So like because they're always in constant pressure from like their their uh you know their people that give them money or like yeah. the the feds or whatever, you know. Um, so yeah, that's true. That's um, if you have someone like that doesn't you know have the same values or don't don't do some shady stuff so it, it could go wrong pretty pretty fast you know so that's why i like building relationships before like we start business you know yeah. okay. so you get you like to feel the person out get, yeah, yeah. get comfortable exactly yeah smart it's easier for us too you know it's uh it's not venting out like vetting out um it's more like uh will this person like if if i would have to go to battle with him would would i have this person like by my side yeah. you know type of stuff so Cause that's what business is, you know. Like every day in, day in and day out, like you don't know what's gonna hit you. It's yeah. pretty crazy. No business is like in partnerships in like business is like a marriage. It's not necessarily, like it doesn't go away. It doesn't just stop. You have to work through a lot of things and figure things out when you have partners. Yeah, that's why I learned. You know, so yeah. it's pretty crazy. But we're in a good spot right now. It's uh, what made you want to join this podcast? Uh, join the podcast. Uh, I mean, like the team. What made you want to join the team? Like. Like, what caught your eye? Like what yeah, made it? Like, yeah. <coughs> again, like I, I wanted to break into the cannabis industry, you yeah. know, but I didn't know how, and uh, I felt like my skill set could like, I'm more like a marketing uh, researcher, I guess, because if you talk to a lot of people that are in this industry, it's uh, they're scared, you know, they're scared of the future, you know, big pharma, big tobacco is gonna come and probably just uh, take some of the licensing, you know, so. Uh, you feel that way? Um. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely gonna be whoever has the most money. You know, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, exactly. To... So you think you think you think in. However, no, because also, sorry, Jake. Um, it's because um, I feel that weed is very um. What's the word? Like it's like um, <coughs> it's uh, it's like artisticy. It's like um, it's know, getting well, like the the, the commercial and all that's good, but the. Uh, like craft artisan stuff is yeah, starting to brand marketing is all starting to you could really do well for yourself if you know what you're doing there that's what i want to say like the craft farmers they're uh most of them like they're gone right like i don't, I don't a lot really of see, them i don't really see them no more like shabinsky and wonder bear are still like the best ones i feel in the game but um so jungle there's, boys there's, is still jungle there. boys, yeah, jungle there's a lot of good them. good Disney, craft like yeah. boutique style that know what they're doing but like they're there's not as many as you would think mm-hmm, mm-hmm. everybody wanted to get into the cannabis game and think they're gonna kill it and just <laughs> yeah that's gonna, what i thought you know I was like, oh, shit, I'm do, yeah we're all you when everyone was all voting yes on prop 64 right to go recreational mm-hmm. we all everyone in the weed industry was like begging everyone don't do it why because the the fine print that was in there it was exactly basically what we said was gonna happen was um all these people are gonna jump in they're gonna ruin the cannabis market it's gonna kill all the guys that have been in it for the last 10 20 years like building up the people who put in the work to like to get those laws passed you know what i mean people that want to gel like yeah but now 
I mean, you, they could afford licenses, but it's just hard. We'll talk. You know. Anybody who's gone to jail sh- for that, the only thing they should be let the fuck out, like. Bro, like I feel like we have to wake up because I don't know. You guys were talking about like New Year's resolutions. Yeah. And it's like, like that doesn't really make sense. Like, you'll probably do it like couple in a week or two. Like whatever your resolution is, eat di- eat diet, you know, work out. Yeah. But you gotta kind of have to have awareness now, like. I feel like a lot of Americans don't have self-awareness and it should be called like New Year's awareness or some shit mm-hmm. because, you know, a lot of shit is happening under our noses and uh, it's killing like small small business. It's, ca- it's killing a lot of uh, independent owners and it's pretty fucked up, you know? Yeah. We're giving away money to like people that we don't even know, like thousands of miles away and we can't even like help. Uh, Hawaii. Hawaii, LA. like LA. LA. That like, one breaks my heart. California pays, pays so many taxes to the government here. It's like, why don't we look like Dubai? Or why don't we look like fucking a, a different country, you know? Facts. Yeah, Everything looks that. the same. It's like corporatized. Like Adam said, like everyone's oh, going yeah. corporate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like sellouts. Sellouts. Especially you know? though in California, everything is taxed. The money you make, the money you spend, mm-hmm. everything you buy. Like everything Isn't it is crazy taxed, that taxed. like all these ball players and like athletes come to California? You're like, bro, like why would I get it? I guess for the clout, you know, but... Because they're, they, paying, they're they, paying a fuckload in taxes, dude. They can afford it at that. Rate. Yeah. So if you think about it, you get your paycheck, which gets taxed. Yeah, then you go to the store and buy something, and you have to pay tax. Yep. And then you, let's say you pay off your house, you never really fully pay it off, right? You got to pay tax every year, and if yep. you don't pay your taxes, they take your fucking house away. Yep. And mm-hmm. so it's like it's free America. You know, if you have a boat or like a RV or something, you got to pay a luxury tax in California. You know what I mean? Then we have the highest gas tax in the whole fucking nation for no reason. We get mm-hmm. the same gas as everyone else. Mm-hmm. You know? Well. Besides the ethanol uh, differential. But, um, yeah, no, it's... That's a good point, though. That, what he just said about, you know, all the taxes we pay, it should look like fucking Dubai in this motherfucker. Yeah. That's, dude, I, I, you know what's... Well, did you see how they just cleaned up San Francisco in yeah. two days? Yeah, for fucking... They did it. Baby dick ping. I, yeah, because yeah, they I had know. a visitor coming. No, the, not just a visitor. You want to know The fucking f- president of fucking China. You know what's funny is, um, remember, dick. I told you I, were, I had that um, a hydro... Uh, uh, fucking vape lounge on downtown Santa Barbara. Yeah. Okay, the craziest shit would happen. We'd all talk about this, but we were on the main strip, right? So all the home homeless people hung out there because that's where all the um fucking um like uh, people were shopping or whatever customers are coming by what are they called tourists tourists and so um uh dude every time they're about to do a parade because they do huge parades that would go the whole fucking street right like four miles and uh, they'd shut down the whole street just for like these parades all the homeless disappeared like the day before two days before these fucking events and we up. talked to some of the cops like oh we just throw them all in jail for like the fucking a few days and because they it's like they all have something on them it's just easy to whatever i was like what the fuck and he's like then we let them all out and i was like no way isn't it crazy wild, like how, how like how uh like uh crazy landmarks like fucking venice beach how it's just like to shit now Oh wild? yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, Venice the... Beach is so used to be so special to me. I used to love going to Venice Beach. It's a little dude. rough going now. Oh, you gotta bro, be it's on your terrible. Toes. You gotta bro. Be on your toes. It is yeah. terrible. I remember going. When I was a kid, dude. Oh my god, to go see where Arnold fucking put in work. To go see where Ferrigno lifted. And I don't know. Like I said, I grew up on Hulk Hogan, and that and his biography. He was from Venice Beach, California. So like, it was like Venice Beach was like the shit. But like yeah. now, it's a fucking dump. Like so when I was a kid, because I told you my uncle was Mr. California. Yes, yes. 93, 4, and 5. The and one I met? No, you never met him. Oh, um, and he also it? came ninth in Mr. Olympia. Damn. Um, but uh, he that's my very first person I got advice from. I was like, I was about to pay someone. I remember it was LA Fitness. I was about to hire a trainer. And I sat there. I was like, what the fuck am I doing? My uncle is like a pro bodybuilder, right? So I went to his house one night, had dinner with him. And I sat down with a piece of paper. And I was like, please, just give me the fucking plan. What, what do I do? And it's exactly what I do to this day. And I, with some variations, I've changed up. But um, but I went to go. I used to watch him compete when I was a kid on Venice Beach, and like go oh, wow. to like Muscle Beach and do that shit. So remember that, how I'm sure. Remember how it looked back then? Yeah, it was fucking beautiful. I haven't dude. been there in a long time now. Like, so. have you ever seen Son in Law? Yeah, yeah Shore? That's, that's a great movie. Dude, classic, bro. Yeah. Classic. You're, Jorge, I know you're a youngster, my son. Have you ever seen uh, Son in Law or Pauly Shore? Like, nah, like, who the fuck is Pauly dude. Shore, bro? That's one of the best. Dude, well, it's, he's like, he was like an MTV VJ back in the day. Like, he was he looked like a scrawny little hippie. And did girls want that motherfucker, dude? Yeah. Like, that fool got everything. But anyways, there's a scene. Remember they're in Venice Beach and they're fucking skateboarding in there? And just like, fuck, dude. That's the Venice Beach I remember. Oh, with the girls on the roller Yeah, remember? And now and it's all that. fucking... It just... It sucks, man. Like you said, it's, LA should look like a fucking uh, empire. 
you know, and it, it's a shithole, especially when you're going into fucking the Coliseum. Like that drive to the ever been in the Coliseum mm-hmm. for a USC game, like I just went recently, yeah. Dude, that when you go into the underpass, it's like, dude, there's people with fridges outside yeah. and fucking ovens. Bro, I've seen some videos on YouTube, dude, of some it's of these terrible. guys. They have mo- like two or three bedroom tents. Yeah. And they have flat screen TVs. They got internet because they get free Obama phones. So they they don't they're set, bro. Set. And they get food stamps. So food's taken care of. You know what I mean? It's fucking crazy. Like, I think we're they're in living rent free. Yeah. yeah, dude. We're fuck. the chumps, really. If you yeah, think about dude. it, yeah. oh, I, I remember we're going into fucking the Coliseum, and I'm looking left. Motherfucker got a stove, a microwave over it, and it's got power. What the hell? And then he's got a fucking chair, and I'm, it's unbelievable. Is that the headphones? Yeah. I think it's trying to connect to his phone. The Bluetooth, maybe. Yeah. This is is it charging. This is uh, needs battery. Can you pull that out? There we go. All right, continue, sorry. So, uh, Jorge, um, as far as your, uh, like, one, one thing we've talked about, like, like what do you guys see for, like, this podcast? Mm-hmm. What do you see? Like, as far as, what was the question you, you said to me, Adam? Like, what's your vision or? Yeah, what do you, what do you feel like the direction should be, the market to attack, the, you know, the vibe of the podcast? What do you think about it? Yeah, so, uh, so this is going to be, like, our first uh, executive meeting then? On yeah. record, <laughs> yeah. yeah, meeting one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, yeah, I think like uh, you guys are doing a, a good job uh, being consistent with it. You know, yeah. that's a hard part. You know, so whoever you have on next, um, you know, just keep up the momentum with it. Um, YouTube is trying to be more like a, a Google now, yeah. to in the sense that they want to be more like a, a search engine more than entertainment. You know, so yeah. podcasts are great for YouTube because. Uh, Every everything we talk about that's trending, mm-hmm. like it it researches, you know, and it puts it you on the top. Up. It pop pops up, yeah. Gotcha. So anything you guys talk about, you know, everything that's being said that's trendy that strikes a nerve, then you know, go for it. It's pretty sick to do. To that's you right there. You're the hater. The haters coming for you, my love. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe that's a good thing. You're trendy. You're trendy, my. Look at this fucking chooch, dude. <laughs> yeah. Hey, congratulations. Well, I have the biggest ego in here, I guess. Yeah, that's crazy. That hurt your feelings? No, you know what? I mean, I've been told that uh, I come off cocky. I don't mean to. Because I tend to be very... Um, When's your birthday? I'm very humble. Like, I, I'll never brag to you about, like, anything that I have or do or anything. You know what I mean? But st- I guess it's just the way I talk. Adam, do you agree with that? <laughs> Look at the way he's looking at him. Uh, it's funny. Come, on. come on, Adam. <laughs> Adam. What? Como what? What was the question? Oh, I, I said, do you, do you do you agree with uh, the situations uh, that you self analysis? He's got like a little bit of big dick energy, but like not. I don't know how to wow, describe Joe, it. You like, can't. We're not allowed to have that. <laughs> okay, but no, that's cool. Like <laughs> not I, in I, the I, presence of Adam. Right? I get it. Yeah. No, I get it. But like, no, Joe, he doesn't bother me. I guess like, I should say that. Like, I'm you used, never bother me as cocky. Yeah, uh-huh. never. He doesn't bother. He doesn't come off like cocky. What do you think? Again, you, you, well, when you met him, you're like, "This is fucking cocky, motherfucker." I feel like you have to be a little cocky in life to like have some level cocky of success. Or co- yeah, that's it true. But it can hand, come off as con- kinda, cocky, right? Yeah, like, it all goes hand in hand. But if you could perform day in and day out, then you're not. You're you know, like, how it's more like uh, I see what you mean. Like, there's a big difference. Um, but I would say that, like, but, but like. With people who are not confident at all, we'll yeah. see any kind of confidence yeah. as cocky because it's not what they are used to. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I'm sure the people who who love to leave the fucking comments on YouTube, let's look at their lives. Oh, like, let's see goes. what they're there fucking doing. You know? they, don't, they don't even have yeah. a pic- picture yeah, of their faces. Where's your fucking podcast, right? Or, you know. oh, Anyways, oh, my dad said, I asked him on Christmas. I was like, hey, do you watch the podcast? <laughs> and he's like... He's like no, and I was like why? And he's like he's like you cuss too much. <laughs> uh, oh my! God. I was like, all right, you upset dad. your dad because of your potty mouth, or we yeah. all cuss? He's like you guys are dirty, too dirty for me. And I'm like, dad, you listen to Tom Likas when we were five. <laughs> when I was a kid in the car with you, so I don't know what you're talking about. Well, clearly Tom Likas is in on Royal Talks level. Yeah, we know him, so. yeah. and we know what t- fucking Mike's into, so he's dirty too. That yeah. fucking guy. Do you guys know who Tom Likas is? A comedian, right? No, he was that uh, AM talk show host. Yeah, he wasn't a comedian. And he, he had um. They're usually comedians. Like, yeah, he wasn't a comedian. Was he a comedian? Yeah, I think he was a comedian. It all okay. used to go like hand in hand, kind of. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He was like he was like the Howard Stern, but he, he had like Flash Fridays, and okay. the girls on the freeway would be like, "Okay, I'm about to do it," and they're on the phone and you you're know, honking. And did you ever listen to Opie and Andy? No. Oh, New York! Oh, dude, they were fucking. 
they would have people on there like throwing up in each other's mouths and shit. What? Yeah, That's so Joe gross. Rogan, dude. Joe Rogan was on there, dude. Like, I think Joe. What's the one I saw with Rogan? This is back in the day, Rogan. Old school, bro. They have the whole fucking studio lined with plastic, <laughs> and there's fucking dudes just chugging milk, dude. And they're throwing up in each other's mouths, and they're I guess they're doing it for money. And Joe Rogan is like gagging. Bill Burr was there with him, and they're like fucking gagging, dude. And they would do all this random nasty shit, like so. I think Jim Norton. You ever heard of Jim Norton, stand up comedian? He's known for like loving fucking trannies, like that's his thing. Like he loves himself a chick with a dick. And um, hey, we we're, we love you too, dude. Fucking lay it, girl. Um, fucking anyways. Uh, no, but he's known for that. So like he 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 was on there. And he would have, like, MMA fighters come on. Okay. So, like, he had Ronda Rousey, dude. He was, like, so fucking horny for her. And she put him in a submission move. And he was like, dude, I damn near came in my pants. You know? But, like, he would have, like, John Jones go on there and choke him out. Chuck Liddell punch him in his fucking arm. Like, wow. yeah, they're cool, dude. Like, that type of... And it's back, like... So, he's been around, like, old UFC. Like, Tito Ortiz. That's, like, the two th- yeah. early 2000s. That's yeah. when I started watching. One of the first ones I watched was, like, I think... Um, I think it was the first Chuck Liddell and Tito. Oh, fuck. It was like when I really started like... Were you Team Chuck or Team Tito? Chuck. I was Team Tito, dog. T- Tito, Tito was like a punk. Yeah, Tito was like a punk. The hubcaps fall and off. And Chuck sat that full down. I, tell me about it. I was like, Tito, get up. Yeah. I was like Van, <laughs> I was like Van Damme and Kickboxer. Dude, Remember when yeah. Tunk Post fucking up his brother who was hot? Yeah. Fucking Rick. Dude, I'm screaming the whole time. Leave him up. Get off of him. But he was fucking... Dude, he bombed on Tito, dude. Yeah, it was he, a second round knockout. Yeah, he just gave it and Tito... I don't know, he just went to, went to town. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You were into MMA? Yeah, I like boxing a lot too. Me too, my boy. Best fight... Best fighter in the world. Uh, Be real. Javante Davis. Yeah, Tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Canelo Alvarez, dog. That's and Canelo, real. well. Yeah, Canelo I'm Alvarez. A, that's biased. That's being biased. What's the other Mexican fighter that he's real popular? Uh, old school? Uh, right now? Or just, all right now? No, no, good. old school. Julio Cesar Chavez. 99 fights or whatever? That's the GOAT. That's the GOAT. That's dog. the pinnacle of fucking yeah. Mexican boxing. Yeah. I think Canelo's he's the hard. closest to come next to him, yeah. but Chavez is like mythical. Like yeah, the that's... Mexican he is. He used yeah. to fight? Yeah. Yeah, box man. Yeah, I was a, I was, I want, I wanted to be Andy Ruiz before Andy Ruiz came around. Yeah, you have that look. <laughs> um, everyone, I, 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 yeah. so it was funny. So the night, you know, who Andy Ruiz is. Yeah, he's the first Mexican. He got Joshua. World. Yeah. Oh, bro. So Underdog. we're watching the fight live. We we're watching the fight live, and it was me and my son Boo Boo. So he's because Boo Boo loves boxing, mm-hmm. and uh, and bro, he loved, he got he got me hooked on Tank Davis, right? Because he's always like, bro, I'm from Baltimore. I'm like, what the <laughs> what? He's like Baltimore, my boy. I'm like, full. you're not from Baltimore, dog. You were born in Apple Valley. Stop. This is boo-boo? Yeah, dude. He's trying to talk all fucking Detroit slang or fucking Baltimore slang. Well, he's, anyways. He's an alter ego. Well, sure. So anyways, no, we're watching that fight. And uh, dude, when he dropped. So Andy Ruiz, he's a chubby. I mean, basically, he kind of looks like me, to be honest. I got well, one shorter. muscle on He's me. like shorter. Shorter. Tatted up fucking chubby Mexican boy. Just going through the ranks. Going through the ranks. They needed, really somebody, they needed somebody to fight, and he, was, and then, he fought the champ. This yeah. beautiful black dude, Anthony six Joshua. foot four, two something, perfect. six pack. Every perfect. muscle on him is perfect. I mean, six six, yeah, two hundred and sixty pounds of fucking muscle, caramel faded, like English, he is the English look. accent. Like yeah, he's stuck, he is dude. the look of the heavyweight champion. If you look up heavyweight champion, that's who you see. I mean, just when he comes out in his fucking robe, like he's just he's that guy. So he was dominating over in Europe. He finally made his big come to the United States at Madison Square Garden, the mecca of boxing. And the guy he was supposed to fight fell out. He got busted for everything in the book. Big Baby Miller, dude. He had over like six different types of steroids in his blood. And my boy was on everything. And uh, they needed a last-minute setup. So two-week notice, they gave it to Andy Ruiz. And he ended up knocking out Anthony Joshua, dude, in New York. He's like a real-life Rocky. Upset. And uh, but when I watched it with my son, dude, my son, dude, I was screaming, go on the inside. I, I was tapping, go on, right hand, Andy, because he was tagging him with the right hand, dude. And then when he knocked him out, dude, Boo was like, I wish I would have got a picture of your dad, because I'm like jumping in the air when he knocked out, Anthony, dude, because you couldn't believe it. Like he looks like you, could, he could be fucking making your tacos, bro, up the street. That's what he looks like. But he was the first Mexican heavyweight champion of the world, man. And and uh, yeah, it's just. What a fucking time, dude. Like, it, yeah. that's who I wanted to be. How long did that's he hold the belt be. for? Fuck it. He just had it for one defense, gained like fucking 100 pounds. Yeah. And then lost it on his first defense. Yeah, he made a lot of money, though. Oh, yeah. He's set. He's still famous forever. Yeah. Yo, well, he no. just beat a uh, uh, good. Uh, Cuban fighter, uh, Louis Ortiz. Yeah, he yeah. just smashed out Louis Ortiz in LA. I saw some clips. Yeah, he's a stud, dude. He's a stud. What he used to guys, be with Canelo, but. What do you guys think about um, Ryan, Ryan Garcia? Garcia? 
I think, uh, my opinion, he is this generation's Tommy Hearns. And I think that he's tall, lengthy, beautiful style, beautiful right hand, a bitch and left hook. But I think uh, he just has to get his mind right, man. He just got to get his mind right. I he think uh, he's, trying to, he's trying to fight a lot like Mayweather. And that's why he's going to Haney's camp because uh, Haney fights like Mayweather. Yeah. So, like, he has horrible defense, but when he, like, he knows how to target you. Tank served yeah. him, boy. Yeah. Bro, that, that I was, was going for Tank. I was going for Tank. Yeah, bro. I should have put my money on Tank. Bro, I <laughs> won so much money on Tank, you have no idea. Yeah, you Yo, bet bro, like that? Bro, all the fucking, He's done a lot of upsets. Oh, bro, all the fucking Mexicans all the that Mexicans, fucking work, yeah. bro. Let me tell you something. Oh, if y'all yeah. want to make That's a quick... Ego. If y'all want to make yeah. a quick... Buck. That's an ego. Yeah, Mexicans oh, are prideful. Let me tell you something. They see that fucking eagle eating that fucking snake, the and they one, get all patriotic. The only one you can't bet against is Canelo, though. Oh, I mean, yeah. And nasty. he did him nasty too, not just like little like no, twelve bro, rounds. Like body shot, dog. No, yeah. all the Mexicans are like not just like little little like twelve rounds. It was like he knocked him out. Or he, he like he goes hurt him. Out. He yeah. gets he's, he's, he's like a Mike Tyson in there, dude. He gets yeah. after. Yeah, he's, he's a bitching dude. Like I always say, like you see the guys with the specialness, mm -hmm. and he that's him. Like I already see the I see the aura coming up, you know. I see the aura, but uh, yeah, I think you, you like Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury, he's Ty cool. Tyson Fury's yeah. the shit, dude. He's he's good, dude. Dude, he has how is that man's body? <laughs> I don't understand. Just, Wait, how, how tall are you? No, no, no. no, 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 no. He, he 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 beat, beat up me. Francis yeah. Ngannou. Me, I'm six foot. And how how tall is Andy? Andy Ruiz six. is six three. He is. Yeah, really? six two, six two. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, bro. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, dude. Uh, I used to spar. I used to spar uh, Chris Ariola. You ever heard of him? Like, I heard, sounds, I heard familiar. Yeah. yeah, I used to spar with him. We used to we used to have sparring sessions down the hill, and my trainer would book me with him. And man, dude, it sucks when uh, when he fought Vladimir Klitschko in LA for the heavyweight championship. I was like, fuck, dude. I fucking went toe to toe with that fucking chooch, and he's fighting for the title. Like, what made him be the Mexican nightmare yeah. against you? <laughs> yeah, well, no, uh, nothing. He no. He was I, honestly, bro. With me and him, it was pretty even. Uh, well, I was the type of fighter I take three to land one because that's all I needed, and uh, I was more of an inside type of fighter. Break you down, start your body, work my way up, hit you out left hook to the body, tap you to the body, rip you to the head. I could switch it up. I had a bitch in left hand. So you're fluid. Yeah, I was Combos. bitch. No, I would just come in, bro. I take a couple jabs. I'll eat it. I'll eat it. Fucking give it to me, dog. I'll give it to me because once I get you in that corner and I cut off that ring, it's a wrap, and I guarantee it. Now there all all, all nine of my losses. Were never from. Uh, I was never dropped. I was never knocked out. It was all decision. But the one time where I got fucking served is I dropped down to one ninety five, and my trainer was very old school with the diet. So this fucker had me eating an apple for dinner, like a fucking peach, uh, a, a ham, piece of fucking meat, and water. Like that, I was such a low calorie. So I cut down to one ninety five to fight at cruiserweight. And I had a fight down in the Westminster. The fucking guy didn't make weight. So I'm sitting there and he was like, you got a fight, Jake? I was like, well, fuck it. Let's do it. Like, pick, get me a fight. And uh, he's like, all right, I'm going to get you a fight at heavyweight. I'm like, what are we doing right now? <laughs> what are we doing? You just had me drop all this fucking weight. This fucker took me up the street to Carl's Jr. And I ate like fucking like 10 famous stars and some fries. Got on the scale. It was like fucking 220. If that, I hydrated. So I ended up finding a guy who was 290. He was fucking 6'4". And that was the most hardest fight I ever had in my fucking life, dude. Because my money shot, like I said, was my left hook. So when I cracked him with it and I saw him literally eat it and look at me, you're just like, fuck. <laughs> you know, that's like the first thought that comes to your mind is fuck. How many rounds were those back then? Uh, back then, it could depend from uh, one. It could go from three round fights to freaking six to eight, you know. Uh, <clears throat> the most I ever had was ten. Um, I had four pro fights in Mexico. Best time ever. Best fucking time ever. Uh, TJ or uh, no, bro, Rosarito Beach, baby. Yeah? Rosarito Beach, brawl room, ballroom brawler, son. You know yeah. what I mean? Hey, it was a good time though. It was a good time. Uh, but yeah, it's a great sport, man. Favorite sport. Best yeah, I tried ever. it. I tried it, but I couldn't do it. But it's a good workout, huh? Yeah. Seriously You're trying to cut workout. and like look look um pretty like ripped and lean. Yeah, it's a good sport. Oh, yeah. But it's really dangerous. I love to be it. Honest. It is. Yeah. It is. Most people think like MMA is. I think boxing is. Man. Boxing, yeah. Boxing is because I can choke you out and the fight's over. I can like Chavez, the goat. Chavez, there was a guy he fought, Meldrick Taylor. He was like the '90s Floyd Mayweather, undefeated, up and coming American. I think, and I think he was a silver medalist. And Chavez took his career in one night, dude. Like he was pissing blood. Uh, he started slurring his next fight, and then he ended his career. He he was like, uh, like he was, that's what Chavez did to that man in one night. So yeah, I think it's way more dangerous. 
Well, way it's, way. A, it's like targeted for the head and body, so a lot more headshots go, you know yeah. what I mean? Where MMA, they're kicking your leg or taking you down. I mean, I don't mm-hmm. give a fuck. Bro. There's no I, padding. I would never eat a leg kick. It but hurts. I don't know. I guess have, just, have you seen that video of the um, guys on the ice, the guys playing hockey, and the dude fell down and his fucking skate just sliced the no. dude's throat? No. He gets up off the floor and you just, dude, you just see just trails of blood on the ice, bro. Oh, it was so shit. sad. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. Dude, it was on, nuts. On like, X. <laughs> Yeah, hockey thought, player fights are wild. Bro. Those boys are t- like they want to put him in jail, right? Or they put him in jail for yeah, that? Yeah, they want to charge no, him for it. Really? Yeah, and they're like, dude, it was an accident. Like he didn't mean to. I feel like uh, hockey players are like cowboys. He's like, yeah, those are yeah. different breeds. Make up their own. Make up yeah. yeah. their own. Be yeah, careful yeah. what you <laughs> you're about to step in some shit you can't wipe dude, off. Dude, when they fucking pull like their whole fucking teeth out, like have you seen them? Like some yeah. take out their teeth and you're just like. That's a man, dude. Yeah, that's yeah, a yeah, fucking. Yeah. Man. Those motherfuckers just eat can of man, like. Yeah, literally. Yeah, dude, when you see, and then all those sick fucks at the hockey games like hitting the fucking glass. Yeah, yeah when they're fucking bombing on each other. I'm like, this is fucking Rome. We got this fucking Rome. <laughs> Ice Rome. Yeah, this is fucking Rome. Who's your hockey team? Uh, honestly, man, I'm going to be real. I like the New York Rangers. Uh, Wayne Gretzky, homie. So I'll, I have a soft spot for the Kings, too, because that's where the, the GOAT played. That was my GOAT growing up was Wayne Gretzky. You don't like the Ducks? Not the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Hands down, the greatest hockey movie of all time. Yeah. yeah. The Ducks. That's the only time it's I really like the liked only it. hockey movie. <laughs> no <laughs> way. Were there There's more? other ones, yeah. Yeah. But... I, he's, I think he's right, to be honest. I'm just <laughs> I, I guess well, I'd Miracle. Say, yeah, documentaries Miracle. a little more. Yeah. Yeah. What, you, uh, what, what, Kings or Ducks? Yeah, I like the Ducks. Okay. Joe? Yeah. You a hockey guy, Joe? Nah. I, the dude, my sport is golf. You want to talk about golf? I can talk about it. <laughs> Like, no. Not really. I just like to watch. Like I'll watch the sport. It's like unpredictable. Yeah, I'll watch it. It's like basketball or kind of football. It's a little more unpredictable. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of action going on. At yeah. once. That's probably the two teams I root for. Like I'm not really hardcore in hockey, but I'm not gonna lie. I want an LA Kings Gretzky. I want an LA Kings Rangers because he's the goat. But like football, I'm a fucking diehard New York Jets fan. I don't give a fuck. I ride that shit to the day we die. I don't give a fuck how bad we suck. Damn. Yeah. You like football team? What's your team? Oh. Uh, like I like the 49ers, but well, he's on the 49ers. he's on the he's on the ride right now. Yeah, he's doing yeah. Good, huh? yeah he's jumping on the bandwagon. Nah, nah. You football? Pretty, pretty. Not into it. Nah, I mean I'll watch, but I'm not really into nobody. Baseball? No, I'm not really into baseball. Yankees. Like, that's right. Oh, my fucking Yankees. Oh God, you too. I'm, I'm just by association. My dad, you know, he grew hard, up in New York. Die so. hard Yankee fan. Die hard Yankee fan. Do- you guys Evil better Empire, watch out. Please. We just got we got a superstar at the Dodgers now. I, well, the fuck, the, the Okinawa guy. What's his name? Otani. Yeah, yeah. The fuck out of here. Watch, watch what he does to you this year. Yeah, he, let's see. He had Tommy John Sechi. Yeah. <laughs> Seven hundred mil. Them, them Yankees. Bro, with, he ain't worth that. Seven hundred mil. What they gave him? Just I'm, I'm gonna hate. Just I'm gonna fucking the, hate. Just because the Yankees always spent got the biggest fucking pocket in baseball and don't that's win. Right, so right. you guys. California suck. just took probably half that in taxes. Yeah, yeah. that's Seven. what I'm saying. Why the fuck would he come here? You the cook? It'd probably be the cooking in LA. It's got to be good. You know I mean? It's like ten. Mi- I think he makes like eight I mean, million Joe. a month. Fuck. <laughs> but athletes make like sponsorships with like Nike, Under Armour. That's crazy too. Oh yeah, that, crazy. That'll be cool. another billion. We're trying to go to a Laker game next month. That's Laker? From, hell yeah. I hate fucking LeBron James, but I love my purple and gold. So I'm looking forward to Jake. LeBron. Do you know how to swing a golf club? <sighs> no, I'm gonna give it a shot though. I'm looking forward. To I can't hit the fucking ball. Oh, are we doing that? Yeah. Top golf before. Dude, I'm gonna be real with you. I don't need you fucking guys giving me shit or anything, okay? Because I can't hit the ball. Never. Okay. Don't fucking. That's do not it, the dude. kind of people we are. Even though I'm egotistical. Yeah. Yeah, you big-headed son of a bitch. <laughs> Let's see if Joe can keep his ego in check when he yeah, can't hit the ball. Yeah, hopefully get the call, the golf club past your fucking big head, Joe. Quit thinking with your big old dick, Joe. <laughs> Grower, not Grower. Adam. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, you're down for that shoot we're gonna do, right? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Are you gonna watch that? You gonna watch that diet a little more or leading up to it, or no? Yeah, if anyone wants to come work out with us, <laughs> I think I am <laughs> on the yeah. seventh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start going sauna. Oh, there you, you know go. what? I thought about hitting. Do you up guys the have the sauna gym over there? And going to sauna. I thought uh, it's only for the women. No, nah. Victorville gym. I did. I go into the wrong restroom. Oh no. no. <laughs> well, in this day and age, you went to the right one. <laughs> yeah. Not with the gym HD and Victorville. They have a sauna. Oh really? I'm yeah. gonna start going there. Damn. I thought about hitting that up tomorrow. I really they, uh, it's a shared one, I take it, then, right? I don't know. I don't know. It's pretty hot. Why would they only have one for the girls? That's fucked. <laughs> that's what I had heard. That that's no, but like, I have yeah. a portable sauna also. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. really? That's how I started off. I'll bring it over. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like little box. Yeah. Like, hey, so you know what I was gonna tell you guys? I gotta I gotta recommend uh shout out to my niece, uh Gigi. Um she told me she goes, You know what would be dope for your podcast, Uncle? And I said, What? She said if we all do like a mobile one and we went and had like a like a the edible food, how they cook the food for you, yeah. they bring the food out for you, you eat it. She said that'd be a good like mobile podcast. I'm like, pretty cool. What? Uh, I'm losing. I'm you know, lost. like we go out to a restaurant or yeah. a chef comes in and they cook us food with fucking weed in it. Yeah. Like that'd be a podcast. Us sitting there fucking recording while we're eating, like, getting the samples of the food. Hmm. Would you be down for that? Um, Joe, don't be a fucking. I, no, I, just, <laughs> I hate uh, I, edibles. So I know you do. Dude. I would, Joe. But uh, I will walk into the midst of Avalon. <laughs> I promise. Yeah, just, you. just come on, bro, bro. I'd be out like after an hour. Be like, no, I'm not even recording anymore. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm no, going dude, home. You're gonna record. I'm, I'm going like, home. Like if you if you crash and land, my boy, it is what it is. I'm fucking out. Come on, would you be down for that? Like, are you an Eddie's guy? I'll do whatever, man. My <laughs> boy, my boy. I, I like edibles. Hey, if we had no, cupcakes no. there, though, that'd be a different story. Well, they do. I don't think they do like a you know an appetizer. They do your entree, and then there's and there's bud leading up to it, and like the build up. Yeah, you get your dessert, your cupcakes. See, come on, Joe, let's do it, dude. Would they cook like? You know what I was thinking? The RV. Like, you know. <laughs> no. Wait, you have a sick RV. Yeah, no, we use that. Not, no. Why not? We'll Wait, like a... we can't eat that. We get someone service in there. Yeah, Why yeah, not? but not in the RV. We might as well just go somewhere. Huh. Oh, or yeah. have somebody come to the house and like, yeah. cook up. Or like a chef. Come here. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, we I'm, could, I'm gonna look into it. Are you down? You could bring the Blackstone yeah. over the like, Hibachi. It's Benny Hanna right here. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, hey, that'd dude. Be cool. We're gonna see what's gonna happen. I, I, I'd be down we for that. We could do like an outdoor shoot right yeah. here. Yeah, beautiful. Let's do. I'm thinking about that. Let's. I'm gonna look into it. I'm okay. gonna look into the business. Wait, what are we doing Top Golf for again? Just to have fun. Birthday. Birthday. Okay. The ninth. I will figure. We gotta look at. I gotta look at the calendar. Let me know. Give yeah. me a date. Are we gonna go to the strip club after or orgy? What are we doing after? Just go top golf. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> like Jake. He's like Cheesecake Factory, Jake. Yeah. Cheesecake <laughs> Factory. <laughs> just a good time, laugh. You know. He said just top golf. <laughs> top golf. <laughs> top golf. <laughs> George, what's uh, your take on orgies? Orange juice? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> orgies. <laughs> Are you down for him or what? Damn. Uh, Are you seeing anyone right now? Nah, bro. I'm single as fuck. Single as fuck. Capital A. I'm single as fuck. Any nah. girls out there, hit up his Instagram. Yeah. He's yeah, available. plug me, plug me. Plug oh, me. Hey, hey. I've seen his cock second place yeah. to Adams. <laughs> He's strong <laughs> second. I mean, oh, he almost had Adam on turn four. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Adam just got hard and he was over. <laughs> <laughs> Turn four. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <gas car>. yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now. Well, dude, just show the guy out. We're gonna get you know. Yeah, yeah, my know. boy's single as fuck. We gotta hook him up. Yeah, I like his shirt, Killer Acid. Yeah, yeah. Well, cool. take some or what? No, fuck, dude. I, I no hard pass. Yeah, I have a hard no. time with mushrooms. I don't know about really. It's like the next level. That yeah. shit. You have a hard time with mushrooms? Yeah, I had an intense trip. So ever since then, I've been a little like. T- like tiptoe. What happened? You saw elves? No, it was just there was a lot of people around. <laughs> oh, you know, there was a lot of shit worse. going yeah. on. I can't do it. Can't do and it. And I did. And all I do, all I ate was one square. Well, no, um, I ate a real mu- like a mushroom, a cap and a stem. One like thick, thicky, like you know, a real. And I had no idea this was gonna happen with from that. And there was it was a UFC Dude, thing. A nice. lot of fucking people, and like I was trying to watch the fight. And I remember I'd look up at the clock, and like it would just be. Oh no! Then I try to focus on the TV, and people were coming. My kids were there. Like, oh, do not! Yeah. One of the one of the guys that ate mushrooms with us was out in the bathroom. Like, hey man, can I go to your house and just st- go to sleep? I'm like, no. All of us are tripping. Suck it up. Let's go. Like, <laughs> we gotta get through this together. So no, just go inside no, no. and like. Just... Are you drinking? Yeah. Oh, you're fucking nuts, dude. Yeah, it was I a wild, do, it was a drink, wild time. So ever much. since then, it was just way more intense than I had prepared for. Oh, so God. now I'm like. Ugh. Yeah, Fuck, like I don't know if I'm yeah. ready for that. So my chick will eat the squares. We'll go out to dinner. She's like normal, and I'm like, like what the fuck is going on? But I, I just can't do. I can't. I mean, I tried it that one time with the bars we had. Yeah, and yeah, I was stuck to the couch for like two hours as my so fucking walls were moving. You tell me you can't, you couldn't do it in public. I don't know. I need to build up a little uh, tolerance. Figure, I like think. figure out how to use it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I went to go watch Oppenheimer. Oh, on shrooms. oh, nice. Wow. Yeah. Have you guys seen the movie? No, no, but how how was that? How was that experience? That was crazy, dude. Like, dude. he, uh, 
That's a crazy ass movie to, just to start off with. But I thought you saw it, Jake. I was in the fucking line I to get it. my uh, to get my tickets and my drinks. Yeah. And you can hear everything, all the people talking. It's like everything, yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, um, wow. I just want to get through this and then just sit down. And, it gets really intense. Or he's yeah. probably like, this is what fucking Superman feels That's like. That's how the, yeah. the, the party I was at, there was so much shit going on. Yeah. Like, and they started play, playing The Nun too, the trailer. Oh, fuck that. No. The exorcism shit yeah, and yeah, like, yeah, like no. Chucky Dolls and all that shit. And I'm like, what the fuck? I would have got it. I was tripping. Book. Hello, right there, and then you don't like scary movies. Were you I were don't. you with people? Or I don't solo? either. I, yeah, I was with my homies. Oh, okay, yeah. so it was like, you had people with you. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. At least. But we all did it. <laughs> yeah, everybody was like on the same level. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. Like like for me, I could do I I could do shrooms all day long. But the problem is, I like to be at home in my own surroundings, safe. Zone, like, safe like yeah. I can put on like some people like watching a movie. It depends on the movie for me. I rather just have the lights like my fucking lights on. And then listen to some fucking records. Like, that's a fucking whole other vibe. Especially some old school oldies and shit like that. Like, Al Green. <laughs> Bro, I'm so high like right that. now. That's are not you, even funny. Are you that bad right now? And I'm so high that I'm like in my head about everything that I'm saying. <laughs> Dude. Um, did, you see, did you guys hear on Rogan? This, I, want, I wanted to uh, segue into this. Did you guys see on Rogan? Uh, he was on Duncan Trussell, his boy. The community. He talks kind of yeah. like that. You know what I mean? They were, so they were talking about chat GBD, right? And, what is it? They what's it called? Chat, Ch- Chat GPT. Yeah, so it's, the, it's that software that we use to write all of our stuff. So it's, it's AI. AI. Okay. It's AI. Yeah. So tell me why this motherfucker. The uh, so Rogan brought up the owner, the creator of that, and they typed in, "Show us like like enlightenment or something like that, or show me like the most happiest thing." So it showed an illustration of like a bunny. Right? Like a bunny fucking crossing its legs, floating in the fucking space, and you see like a glowing, and then it said, now show me more than that. And then ChatGPT did an even better version. And then he said, show me more than that. And then it gave it the most ultimate version. Dude, it, it did God. And it said like the description of it was pretty fucking wild. Because Joe Rogan was like, and that's exactly what you see when you're on ayahuasca. Mm. Or DMT. Well, so the, I want to ask wild. That. I want to do DMT like pretty. I want to do that. And Does when anybody... it said... And when it said show me, when he asked the chat GPT to show me the highest version, it basically translated that mushrooms is the best way. It was wild, dude. The picture. What do you guys think well, when you that? extract mushrooms, it's very common to extract DMT. It comes out as DMT. Yeah. So that's a little, like same trip. Have you done it? Close to it. DMT? Oh, yeah. Multiple times. What do you Did think? you get trip? Did you blast off? Make it? No. So from what I learned later on from a, my boy who became a shaman um, with it, he um, there's three stages of DMT. Okay. You have the hallway, yes. the waiting room, and then like into oblivion, wherever the fuck you go, right? Um, so a lot of people who are anxious, like myself, uh, they tend to get stuck in the waiting room a lot. And so that's why you'll have a shaman to guide you through it and get you into the new next part, you know? Yeah. Um, so I never... but. I mean, still, once you, like, I, uh, we use, we did powder and just put it, like, on a bowl. Oh, it's awful. It makes you want to cough so bad. Really? But, um, yeah, as soon, it, before it even leaves your lungs, lungs, dude, you're just like, woo! Like, you just fucking, I, some of my boys, dude, they'll fall asleep, like, right away. Right when it, they breathe out, they just, like, fall back. So, when and they're gone for 15 asleep? minutes. Okay, so, uh, when they're gone for that 15 minutes, they're on their trip. They're, they're, yeah. So, they made it. They're, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, went, they went past the yeah, and then the hallway. Yeah, a couple of my buddies, like uh, Connor, did it. Yeah. Oh, that was the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life. Adam, but, you? Uh, no, I tried it, but it did. I didn't go. You like, were in I was in the waiting room. Yeah, I remember this. Um, like this wall, like a kaleidoscope. Yeah. Wall, and um, like back behind it was like a creature, like like that, like a like a. It was a figure back there. I should yeah. say, like check. You could tell check and just kind of watching. Yeah. And um. <laughs> This is where it gets weird. Like dude, you know the dude, I'm there. I'm you know there, the man. V Come for on. you know the V for Vendetta mask. I don't know what they're called. Yeah, 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 the white face. We're coming like out of the wall. Like it was yeah. like a whole like they were checking out, like checking me out. I felt like were, were your eyes closed? Damn. Yeah. Okay. That's fucking gnarly. Yeah, dude. and like it lasted. I remember like um, I had, there was music on, and I remember it was like two songs, and when the second song ended, it was like what? Yeah, it was real, but I didn't go. I didn't make it. Like what? So, we went somewhere. Yeah, I went, but I remember the it was a kaleidoscope like wall with the figure back there and like the faces yeah. were coming. What about ayahuasca? Have you tried it? Ayahuasca? Or DMT? Have you, no. Have you tried ayahuasca? No, I haven't. That's too long for me. Because it lasts like a few hours. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like, like acid could last I'm cool with 15 long minutes like on DMT, but. Yeah. What about you? No, no, that, like DMT. Is Have you? Bad. No, my longest trip was on mushrooms like eight hours Ooh. at Venice Beach. <laughs> I fucked up there. Eight hours? Episode yeah. of The Jesus Walking Dead, imagine. Yeah, Fuck, crazy, dude. Man. You're like, walkers. 
Fucking I was like, everywhere. I just did you keep t- eating it? No, like, just that one one take. One yeah, <laughs> oh, shit. An eighth of like all my my friends split it. Whoa. And so all you guys like, tripped that long or no? Yeah, all of us. That was crazy. Ooh. I was like, I don't even know who drove home. No, I'm just kidding. What? <laughs> no, that sounds like a good time though. Yeah, I've had I've had I've had some pretty wild trips on on shrooms for sure. But you know what's crazy? Like when you drink and you black out, you don't remember, right? But you take like stuff like that you remember everything yeah for sure it's crazy yeah i love a good shroom bride for me my boy i'm in dog like let's see what happens let's see i've had one i've had one bad trip one very bad trip and uh yeah that was pretty in my head like bad i thought i was gonna have a heart attack back in the day when we had a dispensary in vegas uh, my lady used to make these little cake balls uh-huh. And they were filled with cream cheese and like they were like red velvet. It's so fine. Medicated? Yeah. Amazing. And then she, we kind of measured out when our head was about 50 milligrams per whatever. So if I stick to the 35 to 50 milligrams, like I'm cool. Like that's, that was my limit. But oh, once so I peek over that. Not like 100 is too much? Oh, yeah. That'll fuck me. <laughs> yeah. I smoke all day long, but like, I don't know. The edibles just take me to the next level. I just don't want to go to, you know what I mean? Not really? Dude, yeah. I love a good Eddie, man. I can be on the edibles. Well, they're all processed differently day. with your body. So it's like yeah. a different high. It's scientifically proven or whatever. Edibles and movies, best combination in the world, dude. Best combination in the world. Shroom and the new Batman movie. I agree with that. Fuck yeah. Oh, with uh, smoking Batman a joint. Movie. Bro, I don't the know new if Bat- I liked the new Batman. The Batman Robert movie? Patterson one. Mm. Robert Patterson. It was fucking great. With, it, uh, I need to rewatch like it. Yeah. yeah. It's cool, it's but it looks good. I don't really feel it was gnarly, like... dude. Nirvana. Come on, man. Nirvana and Batman, and it was like kind of fucking. It was a tad gothic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, but hey, well, Bat- it's Batman, dude. He's supposed to be evil and dark. But uh, that on shrooms, fucking gnarly. Good time. That was a good time. We need that. to do a movie night. A movie, movie cast. A movie, yeah. We watch, watch a review. Yeah, Joe, you're right over there, my love. You look a little, look a little toasty. He's getting. He's bringing himself back up. He's with still cool with Jen. With who? Jen. Jennifer. Uh, no. no? Oh, God, I don't mind that. I won't talk about it. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Well, I don't, like, no, I haven't talked to her. Uh, but <laughs> we, we were talking about uh, bringing her on, and I was like, wait a second, I forgot Jorge. <laughs> he used to date her, so I was like, maybe oh. we should, I should ask da- her. Jorge dated her? Yeah, for, that's how I met her, it was through Jorge. Wait, I don't, is it cold? No, I mean, um, I don't care. business, I mean, yeah, yeah. business stuff, not like, nothing besides that. But, um, yeah, we were... I don't know. But Is that the, the mom that was trying to yeah. sell stuff and yeah. they wanted her cut and all that yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah. It was a hassle. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Um, but, no, nah, anything. <laughs> Joe, you're fucking nuclear right now. You're Joe, what's the time? Um, See, he's all, he gets fucking... He's what? Gone with the wind. <laughs> oh, you don't have your timer there no more? No, dog. Hour, uh, hour 20, hour 15. Let's wrap oh. this up. All right. Wait, let's talk about um <laughs> let's talk about um New Year's? Our Oh shit, yeah. Are you guys ready for that? Yeah. I am. Yeah? Are you it's ready for the New Year's resolution? What is it? What is it? What's That's yours? Awesome. You know, just to keep uh keep getting bigger and keep getting uh What's your goal weight? Probably right now 180. Okay. And then I'll start cutting probably March. So? <laughs> you weigh 160 right now? 174. Oh, okay. So six pounds in three months. Yeah. What about you? I don't want to be held accountable. Like, that's the only reason this actual resolution sucks because then everyone who listens to this is going to be like, hey, motherfucker, I saw you in the podcast and you said that. I was thinking about quitting vaping. Mm. <laughs> are, are, you, are you really going to do it? Damn. I think I am. Does that mean all the way around? All the way around? Like even weed vapes? No. No, right. just nicotine. Well, then you're fucking, you're still in the game. You're all right. What's yours? Mine? Yeah. Um, honestly, I'm going to be 39 next year. Fuck. And um, I want to go into my 40s, probably in the best shape of my life. When's your birthday again? June 12th. June 12th, okay. 1985. I'll be 39 years old. Mm-hmm. I want to be fucking, I just want to be like in the best shape going to my 40s. And what does that insist, consist of? <laughs> Wait, but what the fucking Pink King just said right now. I got to do more cardio, dude. Yeah. I don't do no fuck. I haven't done cardio since I fucking fought. So so you guys know like um, your lungs a muscle? It's like 90% of the population doesn't do any type of sprinting or running after like the age of 30. So the muscle decreases and you lose per- like a percentage of your, your lung capacity and all that type of stuff. 
So, so I it's think good I'm gonna, to exercise and get cardio to build the lung. I think I'm going to drop a weight day and just do fucking like a straight cardio day. Well, it's good for your heart because yeah. it pumps hard. Yeah. And it's good for your blood flow. It opens, opens up your veins. Just makes you feel like alive. Yeah. It sucks to do it. Feel, <laughs> it's not going to make me feel alive. Trust me. I don't no, feel alive. I mean, but the endorphins you get after where you're all tired and wore out and you just, you know. Yeah, I'm probably going to do like a straight hardcore cardio day now once a week. Absolutely. I'm going to do that. What are you going to do for cardio though? Um, okay. probably, I'll probably do the treadmill. I'll what do the kind treadmill. of treadmill? Uh, what do you, like, probably give me a good elevation. Give me a good. So you're not going to run on the treadmill. Because that's terrible for you. Really? Very terrible for your knees. If really? you're going to run, you got to run outside. But um, I can run outside. But people will like develop knee problems quickly. Just really? running on just a treadmill. From the treadmill. Yeah. But um, dude, I mean, the best. Well, I don't know if it's best cardio, but a great cardio is to do that incline. Stair stepper. Um, shout out to um, Greg Ducetti, um, Godfather. You guys know Greg? No. The Godfather of a uh, whatever. Anyways, okay. He calls everyone out on everything. He's a crazy guy. But um, he showed me that, or he, I saw one of his videos talk about cardio and how everyone, like, especially girls, they hold on to the side when they're doing the stellar stepper. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then he's like, that's 90% of the work. He's like, let me see you do it for 10 minutes without holding on. Dude, Let's difficult. see how you fuck. Exactly. And so, so stair stepper's the best one? Fuck, dude. Any resistance cardio is usually the best. So but don't, hold, don't hold on or like you yeah. you got to barely give yourself guide, but don't hold on, dude. This is tough. Like, dude, I don't know how fuck. some people stay Dude, get there. to 15% incline on the treadmill at about 3, 2.8 miles per hour, bro, without holding on. Dude, again, ten minutes you're gonna be crying. Really? Yeah, it's crazy. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm really gonna do that. So you think I should do that treadmill and the stair workout in one day? Um, I pick. Well, it depends on how long. You're gonna do like an hour session? Yeah. Or an hour yeah. straight. You like, could do I'm, some I'm, rows too. Those are good for you. Like if you're okay, to, yeah. You know, there's a yeah. few activities you can get going right there. I knew, th- I knew this one dude. He used to work at my job. I think his name was Dennis. But this fucking dude, man, had fucking legs on him. Once you start- and all he did was a cyclist. That's all he did. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, but he would say like you know he goes I he goes I always recommend to get on that cycle for like a good twenty minutes. I say that's a really good workout. And I'm like, eh, I have a Peloton, workout. which I'm gonna jump back on again next <laughs> week. But um, that's a good idea. You can warm up on a bike and then. So when I was younger, I remember I used to go to the gym in the morning, uh-huh. um, and then uh, I go to work and right after work I go straight back to the gym and I would do an hour cardio, thirty minutes elliptical, thirty minutes treadmill. You know what I mean? I'd do both of them, but I wouldn't. I don't know. Are you going to do it daily or just once a week? I'm going to do it once a week. And honestly, I thought about you going hardcore cardio once a week or doing like my... Bless you. Thank you. Or doing my original, like just waking up and go for a mile run. Every you day? Know? Every day. You'd be better off doing it every day. Yeah, that yeah. gets you good. Well, I mean, not every day, but like three four times days. a week. Yeah, three times a week. Three times yeah. a week. Like every other day? Yeah, that'd be cool. Because you'll notice, like every time you do the run, right? Like it's easier and easier. But I feel like if you did it every week, it might not get. That <laughs> but you much know, it's crazy. Easier. I see like all those freaking crazy ass chicks at the gym, man, going hard on that stair stepper, and I'm like, fuck, dude, that's got to be a good fucking. Dude, it makes you sweat. It gets yeah, that's you. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I think I'll probably go that route. Try it. But I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do like a hardcore day of cardio a week. That's my goal. Nice. Hardcore. Like I said, I want to be fucking shredded. Are you doing cardio? No, I need to start doing the stairs. This fucker don't have to do. Look at him. He's fucking already shredded. I mean, honestly, I just diet and lose weight. This whole last cut I did, I didn't do a shred of cardio. Oh, no, no, that's not true. I did a little bit, actually. But I kind of was lazy with it. Because remember I had that sciatic issue? Yeah. It was so bad for I just think with my size, I, I think with my size, I'll fucking melt. What was it? You saw her doing hip thrusts, so you fit, like built the muscle. You're fucking abductor. That's what hurts uh, your back. That, before that, there I started there. doing hip thrusts because oh. of that. So hip I was like, I need your back? No, 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 no. I hurt. I, I had a sciatic issue, and I couldn't tell where it was coming from. And I was like, you know what? I need to work out the glutes and lower yes, back more. Because so I started the, doing hip thrusts. And it takes it away. And I, me and him argued because I had the same pain for a while. And it's like in your butt cheek, deep in there, and it hurts. And it's not – I've had like a sciatic on the other side. It was I different know pain yeah, I know to me at least. So I was telling him, like, dude, you got to do the – build your glutes and all that because they're strained. While you're building all this other muscle, it's supporting it. So it strains down there because you don't have that muscle built. So you start getting problems, and then I started doing these different workouts. I'm like, Joe, it went away, and then he started doing them, and he noticed the same thing. I did your leg press workout the other day. Yeah, yeah. You saw me at the gym. I did your. I just wanted to see it. Yeah. How you said you change your your footing. Yeah. yeah fuck. Little fuck. fuck. Especially if you're like in your second set. Once you change your yeah. footing, you're like, oh fuck, dude. Like, I want to get off this thing, dude. I felt my butts were. I felt like I was sitting there, dude. My fucking cheeks were cramping, bro. <laughs> now then you have to go in to yeah. go. Oh, dude. I'm like. That's why when you said, like, I went up to him, he's like, you're right. So he told me, he's like, you're right. I'm like, dude, I'm fucking dying. <laughs> he was there a while doing legs. I seen him bouncing around. So. Yeah, I was dying, dude. And he, I just, at one point, I was just torturing myself. I was I was on uh, seated calves. And, dude, I had my head down. I was like, 
fuck, I'm dying, dude. I boss I was your boy was a tad hungover, had about five shots of tequila the night before. Yeah. So it's a struggle usually after you oh, drink. Dude. Oh, Julio? Yeah? Oh bro. Don Julio? Yeah. No, uh, that shit's tough. The big one, the brown one? Mm-hmm. The 1942? No, it's, 1942? A, it's a clear bottle like that. Oh. That big with the blue lid. Oof. That shit's like fire. Hey, dude. Oof. I mean, <laughs> one. Come on, you got no one in you. Two. Who are you Fucking with the Trace. Yeah. Family? Yeah. I fuck Quattro. The next thing you know, good old fucking Cinco comes up, and I felt like fucking shit, oh, dude. Yeah. I crashed the fuck out. And I was on edible. Yeah, done. And uh, but I, it affected me at the gym the next yeah, day. Yeah, the next Big day. Big time, dude. Yeah, because he was like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, fuck, I'm dying, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah, he didn't look normal. He's like, just looking at me. I'm like, Jake. Like, <laughs> when was this? Uh, the day after Christmas. Wow. Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> Shout out to everybody that went to the gym the day after Christmas, dude. Yeah. Like, it was a struggle. We're the real troopers that day, It dude. was a struggle, dude. I had a horrible workout. Well, but, think about it. How many tamales did you guys workout. eat? Because I was hitting double digits. <laughs> I felt <laughs> weaker, Loki. I didn't have any. Yeah, but I had yeah. a good. I felt good. Bro, I had like at least fucking Where'd you go? nine tamales. Uh, my grand on Christmas. Yeah, just stayed home. And then Christmas Eve, we went to my grandma's and Gabby's mom. Um, my parents came over Christmas. On Sunday. Yeah. Did you have off? Yeah. Oh Sunday yeah, you're Monday, off Sunday, yeah. Sunday and Monday. Yeah, I was at my brother's. And I went to my other family's later on, and it was a fucking good time. Good fucking time. I ate so much tamales, dude. Yeah, I do, bro. Red, red pork, 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 pork. Sounds so good right now. Oh, dude, yeah, oh, dude the masa, amazing. And, dude, and I'm like, yeah, give me a fucking Coke Zero. I'm actually a little, oh, I'm actually a little upset about this tamale situation because last year we made them at my house and we probably had fucking like 15 dozen in the freezer because mm-hmm. they'll my chicken them will make them but not cook them but put them in the freezer. Mm-hmm. So then when she's ready, she'll pull them out of the freezer and cook them. And we do like for like three or four months, we'll have just tamales steady. And wow. then summertime we'll have a pot of tamales and then wintertime comes we have tamales but this year they made them at her mom's and she only came up with like two or three dozen i'm like oh this is some bullshit <laughs> <laughs> next time we're scheduling cheese, this at my house um usually the brown with the uh beef mm. or red with the beef okay. and then uh green pork and then mm. some of the cheese and there's a new um the brother has a girlfriend that's a vegetarian so they've been making like Cheese jalapeno hol- in the jalapeno. Yeah, that's a good one, one too. So. Yeah, that's like a good one too. Hey, with they get egg. spicy though. Oh yeah. yeah. Hey, with a fried egg, bro, on top of it the next day for breakfast. That's my. Fuck I like to oh, make man. it like. A, yeah, I like to bro. get it served oh, like chilaquiles. Oh. chilaquiles? But instead of chilaquiles, you put the tamales. What? Think about it. It's so yeah, good. I'm thinking about it. Mm. Fuck, dude, I'm trying to be good. Come on. Yeah, you heat it all together. It's fine. I'm trying to. I'm trying to back away. Back away from the tamales. You got a couple more days till the New Year's. You're good. Yeah, this week just fuck it. Who cares? Get it in. I can't be like that. I can't be like that. Why? Because I just why why do why why wait for the first get on it fucking right now, I indulge. Yeah, that's just because it's sacrificed, the holiday. Nah, I sacrificed my fucking I I ate fucking great leading up to it. I had my one day of destruction, and I'm like, all right, bro. Like I had two, I had like three tamales yesterday. And I was like, bro, stop. Are you guys um have any plans for the New Year's? Uh, no, not yet. What about you? Mm. Party? Just chill, yeah. Nah, no party. Do you party or not much? I haven't I haven't gone out. Since like probably last that, year. That's why you're single as fuck, dog. Yeah, I know. I just go to the gym, man. I just, hey. the gym. Meet some girls at the gym. Yeah, yeah. that's hard. Yeah. Really? Ah! Yeah. What? I think it's hard. Why? Because sometimes it's like you, it's a hit or miss, and then you're gonna see them again the next day and the next day. Mm. If you go the Are same, you consistent place. on your time. Sometimes, yeah. Do you well, have no, that sometimes don't oh, work? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You gotta go the same time. You gotta go the but, same time. Do you have a gym crush right now? Not, not really. No. Nah. I just see, I see people around, but like. I just stay focused. What's your? Uh, let me ask you a question. Uh, uh, let's say, let's say, if you, there was a chick at the gym you spotted, what does she look like? Is she a fucking buff ass? Yeah. What's your ideal? Chick? What's your ideal? Yeah. 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 Uh, does she? <laughs> is, does she exist? Do you know her name? Does she have quads? <laughs> she better have quads. Yeah. She uh, does have quads. Yeah, she has quads. She has big ass quads. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think he likes white girls. No, I mean I don't got a type, you know. No, yeah, yeah, no. Has a type. Okay. Come on, I like. I'm sorry to like gym girls. When I was in high school, I used to play soccer, right? Like I, soccer I was like, I didn't, really, I didn't like the soccer chicks, like people, girls that played sports. You know, I don't, I don't like it. But now I'm like getting into like people, girls, like girls that play sports, yeah, or do some type of fitness. Like I like it, you know. It's attractive when a woman takes care of herself. Yeah. What time do you go? Uh, from like five to six in the morning. No, in the afternoon. After, oh. yeah. After he's high he's school in, kids. Yeah, then. he's in the prime time hour where yeah. it's a fucking mess. Oh yeah. God, it's hard to get a workout. Time, yeah. Yeah. What time do you go to work? All these little kids. I wake up at three a.m. <laughs> for work every day. Yeah. You can't get in a workout before work. 
Uh, that's impossible. Yeah. Yeah. Three. And then that's get, early. I get. I, I go to work at five thirty, <laughs> and I'm at the gym three thirty. Three thirty. Yeah, I gotta get home and eat and do run some errands and then go to the gym. Yeah, that'd be rough. Like, you gotta go to the gym. Wake up at one. Oh fuck no. Yeah. That's fuck terrible. no. Yeah. Do you take pre workout before the gym? Uh, I try not to. Just like a shot of coffee or something. It's too close to bedtime now. Yeah. For me? Yeah. What time do you go to bed? Uh, like around ten. 10 yeah. so if you work out at five and take a pre-workout you're good by 10 you'll be laying in bed mm. it depends <laughs> yeah it depends what kind of workout i mean pre-workout it is you know you gotta kill it's yourself to wear that pre-workout yeah. Right, usually yeah yeah, yeah. But i always go i always, I always go pretty hard so that's good it goes away but i tried the the non-stem um what brand know? uh i like sea bumps brand oh yeah is yeah. it good the little drinks yeah like, they're three bucks but ah oh, fuck dude you don't have anything bulk huh you just buy yeah he buys the protein shake he's on the go he's yeah he's single, on the go single oh, as yeah. fuck road warrior right <laughs> he's single here, as dog. fuck for real like the definition yeah, yeah it's bro. a fucking road warrior yeah. on my boy. money on my money goes to food and, and protein <laughs> and gym this membership fucker's, this fucker loves his gas station cheeseburgers yeah yeah, yeah. donuts and yeah, stuff. yeah. It's the it. hey man it's the life dog it's the struggle respect yeah, yeah. but it's all good you know you brought your nice camera what are you doing with that he says shoot you know, what, you know what I used to do when I was younger? Um, I would go to my dad's every Sunday, and I would come with grinded chicken, and I'd make uh, chicken patties, and mm-hmm. I'd make enough for the week, because I used to rent an apartment from this guy, and so I couldn't really cook there, you know? I had my, my protein and my chicken things, dude, and like some bananas, and that was it, dude. <laughs> That's the cuttest I ever got, dude. Much. I looked good. Yeah, because I, I couldn't cheat ever, because, you know, unless I went out, but I wasn't, wasn't there. But. What's your ideal chip meal? Um, um. Uh, so like during a cut, my ideal cheat meal would be like a In and Out burger. Fuck, that's a normal for me. Yeah, yeah. be like a fun burger. burger. Joe eats like the real the same like consistent. He's pretty like yeah. good on his like he's real consistent on his diet. You, you, so like, but I've seen you at the shop. You're eating like Subway and shit. If not when I'm cutting, you won't see that. No, no. What are you eating? What I'm eating, what I'm cutting? Yeah. Um. So <clears throat> it, it's protein shake, beef and rice, chicken rice, anything like with that like realm salads chicken salads eating late Is eating late i i always i always cut off my meals um especially when i'm cutting uh, like at least at two hours before bed okay you'll actually sleep better too yeah they say like two hours and what is it three hours or two hours and one hour for no drinking that one's kind of hard yeah i don't mind i only i wake up once probably every night to pee i think it's three it. hours eat two hours so I've heard three hours. It's three hours, eat two hours something, and then one hour, no phone or nothing. Yeah. But it's like two, drink. Like <laughs> it's like food, yeah. drink, no phone, and then go to sleep. But and it's they like, say, I like oh. to read. I really like to I'm a reader on my phone. Dude, that's, oh, on your phone? Yeah, do you have like that thing read. on your phone to filter out? It like turns it amber, so that way your eyes, Yeah. you yeah. do that yeah. at night when you're reading on it? Yeah, I, li- I like to read. I have a couple, like right now I'm reading uh, uh, Jocko Willick, uh, 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 fuck, something ownership. I forgot the name of it. But anyways, extreme ownership. Yeah, that's what I'm reading right now. Oh yeah, what what is that's fuck. Just extreme gotta, ownership. Extreme ownership. Own it. I'm there right now. Yeah, and it is gonna, fucking oh. good. Yeah, they have crazy stories. Good. He get, dude, he gets me jacked, bro. Like, Who's it with Echo? Is, the stories with Echo. Yeah, the stories with Echo. Yeah, yeah. I want to do David Goggins. Can't hurt me next. Uh, I, that's I my next that. one. Yeah, I read that already. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You get you get pumped up. That's a fucking man, huh? David fucking Goggins. He's a dude, different right? animal. Yeah, you saw, he's, he's you saw like, him at the his uh, Tony Tony's Ferguson. yeah Tony yeah. Ferguson fight. Yeah. <laughs> he wanted to get in and beat up uh yeah, yeah. Patty. Yeah. yeah, dude, David Goggins. That's a bad motherfucker. What do you guys dude. think about the the fight in the stands between the the middleweight champ? Oh, Sean the mother yeah. Sean Strickland dog. Yeah. Hey. He's, he's real school. as it gets. Fuck dude. around and find out. Talk yeah. shit, you get hit. Dog. That's how that yeah. works. He's from uh, Stockton, no? Or? No, no, no. You think of Nate Diaz? Sean, uh, Sean Strickland's from uh, Vegas, right? He's, uh, Vegas he's from boy. somewhere. I don't know. But yeah, he's, he's a white boy. He's he, the old school fucking white boy. Wears like, boots and jeans yeah, and a white t shirt from, from fucking, fucking Walmart. Luke right there. And this fucking dude was talking <laughs> shit like, to me. He like, hates my generation and shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, buy this shit. Really? He has boots, like jeans with boots on. Did you see that video where like really? someone was escaping from the cops and he gets out with his, his pistol and yeah. he's like, he gets, yeah. he's like, get down. Dude, he's, he's, he's a, wild, dude. He's like, your, he's like your brother mentality. He's just a straight, wild, like old school boy, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Like, dude, he's at the last UFC fight. The, the challenger for his title coming up is talking He has a title him. fight coming up with this dude. And, and the guy's you know, behind. like, you know, like they do the promos, like, hey, fuck this guy. No, no, no. The guy's behind him talking shit, dude. Remember, he he was polite. He even asked the kid yeah, and the lady dude, to Yeah, dude, he turns around and goes like that. 
and looks at him and the guy's going come get him motherfucker and then he goes all right he turns around and goes excuse me can you move please thank you it's it was another fighter's wife and son they scoot over he fucking jumps and starts bombing on him dude like bombing on him damn really bombing. i gotta, I gotta and look everyone's this up. screaming for him and then he looks at everyone he's like fuck yeah he takes off like he's that guy he's that yeah, guy he's that's like mcgregor when he was like fucking he actually has a really good we need, i'm gonna post it up but um it's about like you need to put the value back in the man, not the dollar. That's what we're talking about. He went after the Nelk Boys. The Nelk Boys. Remember that? He, went, he like. Is that where shit. he's at? Is he in there? No. He's, he's in a podcast, but they're asking him a question. He's like. Yeah, Nelk Boys. Yeah, they were asking him when he needs to change it. Uh, Sean Strickland. Sean he's on Strickland. The Nelk, the it Nelk makes Boys. a lot of sense, dude. And he's like, they need to take the power of the dollar and put it in the man. Like, yeah. and it make, he starts breaking it down. And you're like, dude. Yeah, he starts clowning him. He's like, you're fucking, look at you. You're fucking 24 years old. You're just like a fucking kid with your basketball shorts and your fucking Nike socks. Like, he's like going off on them. He's like, dressed like a fucking man. Like, he don't fuck around, dude. And he means what he says. He gives but, no fucks. Yeah, I know. It's, it's one of his, like, his little sayings, dude. And he breaks it down. And you're like, damn. Mm. This is like a whole different generation. You know what I mean? Did you ever see that comedian that went after the Nelk Boys, too? Uh, oh, uh, Andrew Schultz. Yeah, did you see when he was on the Nelk Boys? Mm-mm. Oh, my God, it was yeah. so uncomfortable. He was like, what is it? <laughs> yeah, you got to watch it. I don't want to ruin it. He's yeah, he's a smart is. ass. Yeah, yeah, he's smart, though. Like, he's Those... actually kind of smart. But, like, yeah, he's a... Yeah, he can't he can be a dick, but he... Yeah, the Nelk Boys... But, but he was making him look stupid. For 100%. The he problem with the Nelk Boys, I had... They were making him. They had, like, a famous golfer on there, uh, Bryson DeChambeau was on on the podcast, and like they be he'd be telling a story about like a great hole in one he made right, and then fucking the shithead on there forget his name um, Steiny Steiny huh. he all of a sudden he's like so have you ever fucked a girl before? And it's like dog he was in the middle of a fucking story bro you're asking know. immature questions what is, you know what, what, I mean? what is the Nelk Boys about? Like I've heard the, the Nelk Boys yeah. they, they they got known for doing pranks and like yeah they're Canadians uh, <laughs> and they came to like the U S to like make pranks in uh colleges yeah, yeah so they really penetrated like like the college uh market Genre. market yeah with uh with a lot of stuff youtube and how many pranks. how many is there there's well, a lot of members now well, but steve it started it. with like four of them steve will do it yeah Steiny, he was one of the originals Kyle, and i don't know what the others but steve will do it they had him like uh, he was doing like some videos on some other app, app called vine or just chugging like drinks and stuff right yeah, yeah. He, got, and he yeah. linked up with the, the nug boys and he made like a million views in like a couple of weeks oh really he's he was like the, the fastest boy. the well, fastest i heard uh, the steve uh, will do it like guy uh, but i just i heard the nug boys i don't know what they're really he's about like, steve extremely will do wealthy cool now. oh yeah dude he's stupid rich yeah, yeah. stupid rich yeah. isn't he banned from youtube yeah YouTube, i felt yeah. bad for him after that i was fucked what was the reason why he got banned they didn't even give him a reason no nah, they just said like something in the description didn't um Go with YouTube you're supposed to get three warnings too, and yeah. he didn't, they didn't even give him one Obviously, warning. Obviously, that's like a power play. He's probably making too much money. And so, you know what I mean, that's well, because he's like, also like fuck Biden. He's pro Trump. Yeah, All the Nelk boys pro-Trump. are pro Trump, and like they're very big on you know showing that off. Yeah, they all hang then, out with Dana White and stuff. Yeah, back then you couldn't talk about certain stuff on YouTube. Now it's like leaning back, like the restrictions. You oh, can yeah. talk about certain stuff now. Yeah. Okay. Like during the pandemic, if you talk with whatever you talked about, like mm-hmm. these couple of, uh, pods ago, then. You would get banned pretty quick, you know? Yeah. So about the vaccine stuff. And yeah. Just, yeah. You just and it's crazy how people are still getting vaccines. Like Isn't that wild? Yeah, and they're still promoting it. You know, like, that's crazy. I forget what we talk about. After like, these? Uh, yeah, sometimes I have like I have to think about it, like what we've went over and I have to look well, at the episode. But depends on how fucking loaded you are sometimes. Yeah, dude, there's been a couple you then we have lost episodes, then I get really fucked up. I'm like, well, yeah. hold on. Did we bring that up already? Yeah. Uh, I was in the car and um, on my dash showed Royal Talk, you know, yeah. on the Spotify account. And Justin's like, you listen to your own podcast? And I was like, well, I was, yeah. And he's like, you just, you were in it though. Don't you remember? And I was like, no, actually, because I'm so high. <laughs> I had to go back and like rewatch yeah, it. Like, but There's certain parts I, I kind of remember. And then when, as I'm listening, like certain shit's funny. I don't even remember it. Right. And, and I'm like, oh shit. I'll but, listen back and start laughing about shit. I'm like, Dude, that's funny. But. Yeah. It feels like a thinking, like a thinking tank. You just sitting here and just no track of time at all what do you think uh, about the podcast like what are some what do you kind of what do you envision kind of like on youtube and stuff because i see dude those are getting the most views dude your clips yeah, they're like thousands you. of views i told you he uh, wanted to go viral i was like you want to go viral i got you yeah. <laughs> wow, this guy. that's exactly what he told me too he's like oh you have good topics to talk about that we'll, well it's just viral. like we don't really we're just raw and like i mean i know yeah. we say that but there's no we just come here sit down and get no, let, shit. It, let it flow there's a lot of uh, podcasts that, like are really structured yeah. Well, that's because people want to get their point across pretty quick, you know? Yeah. And you guys are more like freestyle, like cut, it, like, like no boys times, like, you know, well, how old you guys are. But I say just uh, like have someone like fact check a lot of stuff that we say, you know, like if we say something like people want to 
see it, you know? Because they want to have like that video podcast. They don't just want to listen to it no more. This is a young Jamie, sir. Yeah. And so there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff that it's trending like that also. Um, if you do guys want to do a live stream on Twitch yeah. or some other company called Kick, you can get a lot of followers and they'll pay you 50% of whatever they the streams, you know? It's more money towards you guys in that app than YouTube mm. because you at least need a, a million views on a short throughout you know yeah so you need to get that type of following uh, yeah. view sh- viewers to catch the attention if you uh take your fans or whatever from anywhere spotify whatever and tell, tell them to go to kick like once a day or once a week to like watch your stream they'll, they'll give they'll pay you pretty pretty quick a lot of people don't like to monetize b- real quick because they don't know how to do it or they get scared like oh no like we, we just want to create value you know yeah type stuff or just you know for the fans but like money comes out of like the air nowadays you know so yeah you think uh merch we should get after some merch or what do you think on that yeah merch is pretty sick that's another stream of income you guys could could do yeah um a lot of you could do a lot of skits there's a lot of ideas um that's why this guy's on the team but yeah it's uh it's the thing i've been i've been working on you know because when i started like going into like the cannabis industry i kind of looked at it like who am i targeting what kind of people am i targeting you know and I feel like the community, cannabis community, like they know how to make a community out of no, like nothing, you know? Yeah, you have to. So it's Damn. pretty pretty sick. You guys are like the best business people, I feel, <laughs> when it comes to like... Well, you have to like, it's by by what you say, what you do, it's by word. You know? Exactly. And it's like an old school handshake deal. Like that's the only, people, that's the only way people can hold you accountable for like this mm-hmm. business yeah. is like trusting you. And so those principles will bring you fans, you know? Yeah. All that stuff. Let's fucking go, boys. Fuck yeah. I like the skits idea. Yeah, that's so a good I, one. Because we kind of try to incorporate gym life, you know, with that, but along with that. There's so many people doing it, so I don't want to be, like, corny, I guess, per se, but, like, we should definitely think about that. That's a good, good angle. I think, yeah. Yeah. Something. And then just write memoirs, you know? You know, uh, when you when you talk about, like, disturbing an industry, yeah, you kind of have to have, like, little metrics you can follow, you know? So whatever, we do the skits, we do... Um, just straight talk or whatever we have those little metrics to follow like which people like the most oh yeah like how yeah. i send you guys statistics on the videos yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. it's nice to kind see like, sometimes when we're checking that's what you want to see you know yeah well it's so, funny because you kind of get after you post for a while you start to see oh hey these videos do way better yeah. than these ones you know and yeah you kind of like the, start leaning the, towards like that. i noticed <laughs> for me checking stuff i noticed they like the funny stuff like or bullshitting mm-hmm. or like you know kind of somebody goes on a rant or whatever like they like it to just hear somebody's point of view and laugh i guess mm-hmm. more say yeah, like those trippy, uh, when you started tripping on mushrooms, that could be like an anime skit. Oh, <laughs> That'd yeah. be funny. Another episode. You know? Oh, so you mean like a skit over us talking mm-hmm. about the story? Cartoon. Oh, yeah. a cartoon of like the kinda acting. Like, honestly, kind of yeah, like, like Joe what Rogan he did there. for the video when you were talking about the band of Babylon, the business and the hands came up. Like yeah, that, yeah. right? That'd be dope, dude. How you're describing your thing? Fuck. Mm, I think, it, but I get what he's saying. <laughs> like we could animate like an, an an action of what we're talking about. Yeah, like exactly. Imagine an animated along. version of you in it's a fucking not, waiting room and you see the fucking guy. That'd be from, cool and also mm. expensive, but like also, but you're telling a story with like the videos, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, just yeah. the voiceover, you know? Yeah, yeah. I got gotcha. you. It's kind of just merging everything together. <clears throat> well, so. I guess everybody's going to stay tuned and see. We're going to get Yeah, there's a lot of big things coming up next year. Oh, hell yeah. We are, we got guests scheduled through february probably Damn. Beyond, so we're, yeah. we're it's coming you know it's going. you guys like networking like this yeah i love it yeah. i like to just i like to hear everybody's story and talk and see and just i want to get someone on the podcast that um doesn't agree with a lot of the shit we say do we know anybody like that oh, i'm sure we can find them joe can you well, basically a democrat <laughs> just go, go to downtown la and just be like you want to get yeah. Do a podcast. We yeah. need to get in touch with one. There's of the, two we, genders. Hey, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> we need to get in touch with one of the haters. That's what I've said. Come yeah. Uh-huh. Hey, would you like to come on the podcast for yeah. talking shit? Come on. Like it, no, because I, I get, well, actually, oh, I'm just gonna say I bet you though they wouldn't even respond or they'll be like, oh no, I'm a, what, what I hear the most is I'm twelve. <laughs> everybody everybody um, <laughs> says like. Get with other people that podcast. Get with other people that podcast. Get with other people that podcast. You know what I mean? It's like a pot like. 
bring a podcast around and like expose oh, someone sure. more. But I mean, well, we're just working. Would you pay it. someone? Like, would you pay someone to be like, hey? No, come. I'd rather just build it organically. Like, if yeah. you want to follow and follow and subscribe and help us out, you know. Be well, there's gonna come a point if we get to a certain size. I'd imagine that other podcasts will be like, yo, let's collab, right? Yeah. And they'll hit us up. But no one wants to talk to us with 120 something yeah, that you so, know followers. But we but have a we have a vision to get there. Like, we're just trucking. Our followers, I notice every day go up. Like whether it's one or three or four, you know what I mean. Yeah. Like when we're putting out the funny content and more stuff, we're, I notice we get more attention. I agree. I agree. I think, like I said, I think we're we're unique. I think we're unique in a way. I don't know, especially because from the vibe, what I've been told is that we put out the vibe we put out is like, man, I feel like you guys have been friends for a long time, you know. But you know, we, we we've been only buddies for two years, you know. But we just got a lot of things in common. Yeah. I think the conversation is pretty easy when you get to know each other, like big yeah. time, big time. Just, and there's mm-hmm. just we're all just here to like support each other and bullshit and laugh or hey, you need something. It's simple. There's yeah, no, this, yeah. this stuff is like pretty fun, you know, building a brand, building like having that type of not just money, like per se, equity, whatever you want to call it, but having a, you know, just how how can you make a company better? How can you make it more HD? How can you make it like stand out a little bit more than other people? You know. Because this game is kind of copy and paste, but just put your own twist to it, basically. Yeah. So, and you guys, you guys could do it. I mean, I'm right here, bro. We're gonna do a yeah. room dab. Yeah. Yeah. With yeah. Rizal. Oh, shit. You should that come. one's gonna be sick. You should come on that day. Yeah. Come do some courting and shit. Well, when is he coming? Like in a couple of weeks. Seventh. Seventh. We're gonna record with him and Lexi. <clears throat> okay. and the, but we wanted to do a royal TV like get together kind of thing, so we were gonna set off like a, just a little dab that'll like blast the room a bit yeah. not like we did last time with three pounds but <laughs> now something else that's trending is uh irls have you guys heard of that no in real live streams oh uh, so you basically buy like a backpack of a router yeah. and then you get connected to your camera and you're like following people people are just watching you real life oh, they wow. could donate they can like real life streams on like live tv yeah yeah <laughs> and it's basically you could do it here you're giving too. jake ideas mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that takes only fans a whole new level oh lord <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they're not ready for jake <laughs> no one's ready for jake yeah, yeah. yeah. all right <laughs> well sweet dude i'm excited for uh i'm excited for next month got some cool people coming on yeah no it's getting going so hopefully everybody stays tuned and give us feedback comments sorry joe It'd be cool if we did something at a uh, top golf yeah we'll see are we gonna wrap this up boys yeah let's do it's it. time all right uh who are you guys thinking to plug Besides oh. some tests. Oh, <laughs> real quick. Um, Happy New Year's. I wanted to yes, say guys. Happy New Year's, Merry everyone. Christmas, Happy New Year's. Make sure you guys are safe. Drink responsibly. Smoke your weed. Yes. Please smoke your weed and put away your weights. And put away your weights. <laughs> yeah. Just follow me on Instagram. The right. description will be down in the, 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 the link. link. The link will be yeah. in, the <laughs> in, the <laughs> in the description. My boy is I'm faded, yeah. <laughs> he said, I'm are faded, you, y'all. Are, are your eyes better? Are you seeing good or still a little? I feel like a... Little Asian girl. Oh, shit. <laughs> Chinky. Yeah. Chinky. Chinky. Let's uh, make sure to actually put him in all our posts. Who? What's up? Uh, link in our description below are all our posts. We yeah, can just I put like to... editor and then put yeah. his link. Okay. All right, y'all. Cool. Um, that's it from this. Uh, I thought it was a pretty good pod. But anyways, guys, uh, smoke, lift, and live. We out. All right.